Hello, and welcome to another episode of Hijinks and Handlebars, an actual hey! play. Hey! Hey! <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was going to happen or not. <laughs> it wasn't, then it did. Hey! An actual play gets on Bike's tabletop live stream with Q Times. That's right. Um, if this is your first time joining us, uh, thank you for, for watching. Today's going to be a, an interesting episode. And uh, much like all of our episodes, you can find the rest of our catalog of episodes on the Q Times main YouTube channel that is on YouTubes, and it is Q Times YouTubes. <laughs> um, yeah, it's in a playlist called Hijinks and Handlebars, and uh, you can also find that playlist by typing in bit.ly forward slash handle stream with a capital H and a capital S. Right at the top here, this is something I've been meaning to do for a really, really long time, but didn't know exactly how to word it. Um, I want to have a content warning specifically because we're going to be talking about uh, so content warning for suicide and suicidal ideation, um, death, and uh, basically for the rest of forever, the episodes uh, are going to open with a, a content warning. The difficulty there has been because it's like improvised and we don't really know what's going to be popping up in an episode. I was like, how do I even do that? So this is how we're going to handle it. It might change a little bit. Content warning, we may talk about suicide, suicidal ideation, death, uh, death of kids, uh, injury to kids and animals, death of animals, uh, and uh, depression, uh, and I think like generally anything surrounding like loss of loved ones and, and that kind of thing that seems to come up uh, quite a bit. So if something does come up. Uh, please be kind and careful with yourself. And if you do need to uh, step away or shut the stream off, please do so. Um, if you are eager to know what happened and want details in a less uh, triggering uh, area, you are welcome to tweet at me, uh, at KWilliamWhite, and I will leave out the stuff that uh, you don't want to hear and try to give you the information that you need, because I want you to be able to continue watching the show. OK, so. Uh, like I said, if this is your first time watching, we won't be in the chat specifically, but someone someone from Q Times will be in the chat and they will talk to you. We will check the chat afterwards. We always like to see what everybody has to say. So thank you in advance. Let's get some thank yous out of the way. Thank you to Hunter's Entertainment for publishing Kids on Bikes, giving me the backpack and also the dice that have these little skulls on them. Boom. And uh, also a big thank you to Q Times, of course, uh, Krug and Indigo and T.S. Quint uh, for everything that they do and providing the space for us and, and hosting us. That's wonderful. Uh, finally, a big thank you to <coughs> Tanameto. That is the artist who did uh, the basis for what this overlay is now. We used his overlay for a long time uh, up to this point. And uh, he also did the banner image that you saw of me chasing them all on bicycles and uh, the ARC 1 poster and the ARC 2 poster. And hopefully we'll be working more with him in the future on some other designs for the show. So you can follow uh, Tanmato on uh, Instagram and Twitter. And you can also check out his YouTube channel where he does sort of story time animation kind of stuff and a little bit of like short uh, music videos and that kind of thing as a musician as well as an artist. And I help out on that channel uh, quite a bit more recently because um, we just like to collaborate. So uh, check that out. It's at T-A-N-I-M-A-Y-T-O, Tanamato. Great. Without further ado, I suppose. Hello, I am William White, they, them, and I am the GM for Hijinks and Handlebars. Hello, I am Jonas Newhouse, he, him, and I am playing the 13-year-old Derry Nazari, also he, him. Hi, I'm Sam Richardson, he, him, playing Teddy Tedward Tank Thompson, also he, him. I am Franny Morrison, playing Gertie Fox. We are both she, her. Gertie is 14. Spence LaBelle, playing Frankie Fox. They, them, he, him, he, him. Great. Cool. All right. So this show is about some kids in the small town of Bald who encounter very mysterious things like a magic dog and a shadow place and some bullies with some superpowers and an undershade. But more specifically, what happened last time on Hijinks and Handlebars. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. Derry. <laughs> do, do, do. That's copyright. Can't use that. Uh, Derry just arrived back in the reality place, as we so lovingly call it, from the shadow place with BB in hand. And everyone was like, oh, what? Uh -huh. And Derry was like, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> exactly like that. Yeah. Uh, and then they all joints. and they all immediately felt a womp. You say joints like jinkies and joints. <laughs> Great, I it's love not it. trademarked. I love it. Not trademark joints. <laughs> joints, zinkies, um, slinkies. Wait, come shit. On. We'll get we don't it. know that they we'll haven't trademarked it. all of the variations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh boy. So uh, they all immediately felt a womp. Uh, the Womp is a thing in town that most recently has uh, caused a lot of the citizens of Bald to be taken over and manipulated power-wise. And they, they shook it off real easy-like, and they were like, oh no, that was a Womp. And then they heard a roar, and some other roars, some howling of some um, some wolves that they had encountered previously, some wolves that had come back from the dead. And they heard them getting closer and closer, and they are like, we need to get out of here. So they all piled into the car, all of them together, and uh, were getting ready to leave when... Gertie, with BB in hand now, decided that she needed to like save everyone. So she tried to use BB's power of teleportation, which she had previously used before, to teleport the entire car to a different location. Unfortunately, BB didn't have enough in her to do that entire thing, but did uh, succeed in teleporting <laughs> Gertie and BB uh, into uh, the outside of the car, and then into the the chest with CJ, and then uh, Gertie got out and started digging in the area, but they really needed to get out of there because they heard howling getting closer and closer. So Marcus and Phoebe got out of the car and were trying to get Gertie to come back in, and then finally Gertie teleported away, and no one knew where she was. Instead of leaving her behind, Marcus and Phoebe decided, as her parents, that they were not going to do that, grabbed the gun out of the back of the car, and Derry took a hold of the steering wheel as Phoebe said, hey, protect my kid, Frankie, and also protect everyone else and yourself. Get out of here. Derry threw it into drive, driving for the very first time, <laughs> and, uh, and it's really good fish, it. <laughs> fish, ta- fish tailed out and, and got, got out of there. God bless Dice. As, um, as Phoebe and Marcus started climbing up a tree, and the last thing that the rest of the kids saw inside of the car was wolves making their way out of the woods into the clearing that they all were in. We then followed Gertie. Well, we went to Gertie. Gertie had uh, teleported herself to their old campsite and started to dig because she wanted to bury herself. We went back to Derry. Derry and Frankie and Declan and Harini and Teddy in the car, Teddy still unconscious from the injury to his head in the previous uh, set of circumstances. Derry was saying that they should get as far away as they could, but Frankie wanted Derry to drive back into town so they could do some real damage, grab some swords, grab some weapons of some kind, and really put an end to this. Derry wasn't sure right away, but after a little bit of convincing, from mostly Frankie, but also a little bit from Harini and a smidge from Declan, they all decided, yeah, we need to go back and we need to do something. So Derry whipped the car back around and headed back to the location. Gertie, after being buried in the ground for about uh, 10 minutes or so, uh, was sitting there, didn't really know what she was doing, didn't know how to get to the undershade or the shadow place or get to talking to CJ again, figuring all of that out. And, uh, was really kind of beside herself, asked BB what she should do, and BB is a dog and couldn't help a whole lot. <laughs> um, and based on the situation at hand and the feeling of knowing that people had come back from the dead and knew that if they were dead and were buried in the woods, they ended up in the shadow place, Gertie reluctantly took it upon herself to get herself there. Derry and the rest of them smashed the wolves to bits uh, with the car, um, doing some sick driving, uh, drove past, got into town, were chased by some more wolves, took care of those as well, and Derry ended up bringing everybody to his parents' home so that they could stash the car in the garage, get like the scent off of them so that those animals couldn't follow them anymore, and figure out how to get Teddy awake. As soon as they got there, though, Teddy, inside, felt a striking pain and was able to shake it off, but it woke him up in the garage and uh, everyone was like, oh, Teddy's awake. (laughs) Um, Teddy then needed to go to the shadow place to see how everything was doing. Ended up blinking there, not seeing anyone, not the people that he had brought there recently, not Andalyn, who he knew was pretty much trapped there. And uh, the only thing he did see was Gertie's eyes. But he had seen Gertie's eyes before, so then he just blinked back into the reality place. What he didn't know at the time was Gertie was trying to talk to him because Gertie, this time for the first time, was seeing Teddy through those eyes. Teddy then told everybody 
that day had failed and that the bullies had somehow gotten everybody out of the shadow place and pretty much all was lost. Uh, but they weren't really taking that and said, well, if Gertie's in there, you got to go talk to her. So he goes back in, is talking to Gertie, who is using telepathy or something in the shadow place in order to communicate with him, and tells him she found a way to get into the shadow place. It's not what you think. Uh, I'll, I'll see you. Meet me at the chest. And so Teddy believes that and goes back into the reality place, lets everyone know. Derry and Frankie, especially Frankie, don't really believe it. And Declan and Harini are there to back that claim up, knowing that when they were at the chest, Gertie did not use it to go anywhere. So Teddy decided he needed to go back into the shadow place, and Frankie and Derry grabbed a hold of him to go with. After having uh, an altercation with Gertie, where Gertie was pretty much refusing to talk, she blinked out, attempting to go to the Undershade, and then the rest of them decided they needed to go to the Undershade too. Teddy did a brief blink back in to make sure Declan and Harini knew what was going on and they were staying safe, grabbed Derry's saxophone, blinked back to the shadow place, and then took Frankie and Derry and attempted to go to the Undershade successfully. They sunk into the ground, and the last thing that Teddy saw was Pete arriving in the location to go to the Undershade as well. Gertie, earlier, when she blinked away to go to the Undershade, she did it successfully and also started going down. Right before she ended up going all the way through, she felt hands on her shoulders that wrapped around her and heard Andolin's voice say that I'm coming with you. They both proceeded to sink down into the ground. Then everyone woke up in separate locations all on the day that Andolin had died originally. So they began trying to get to each other. Derry woke up on the couch in his parents' living room with all of his family around because his older sibling was having a birthday. Teddy woke up and immediately just pushed out of the door and jumped out the window of Andolin's room, seeing Andolin and chasing her down to get the information of what exactly was going on. Gertie woke up and was having breakfast with her father and her mother the morning of the day that she was meant to go treasure hunting with Teddy. She then left to go to the Crystal Bald. Frankie woke up at a slumber party at Baldwin Baldwin's house where Cynthia and Sydney were also having a sleep over there. Sydney was nowhere to be seen. Frankie didn't exactly know what was going on, but thought for sure there were no consequences and none of this was real. <laughs> Passed along that information and everything <laughs> fell into chaos. <laughs> That's just, I think, a good tagline. And everything fell into chaos. <laughs> um, eventually, Frankie did make his way out, taking someone's bike. Not his own. Baldwin's, Baldwin's. Baldwin's bike. Yeah, it's really Sleek nice. Sleek black. Sleek black. I picture it has like just some like actual gold plating on it somewhere. Uh, where Derry ran into him trying to leave and uh, grabbed Cynthia's bike, which was also a kind of a tandem bike with Sydney, uh, but the back seat was not a seat, it was a cage. Um, <laughs> and what, took an that, evil, what an evil lady. Um, and they both ended up going to the Crystal Ball as well because Derry had called uh, Andolin and Teddy to find out where they were going. So everyone on their way to the Crystal Ball, their Crystal Ball. Uh, Andolin and Teddy tracked down Gertie, grabbed Gertie, got her in the car. They drove on and eventually ran into CJ. CJ was just walking across the street. They got out and started trying to explain everything that was happening and asking for help and wondering like why they were giving everyone superpowers and why they why the bullies were so strong and uh, and CJ didn't super have answers and CJ was confused and and having a hard time keeping up with the conversation, um, but then Frankie and Derry popped in and saw and everybody was asking questions and they and they tried to get as much information they could uh, when finally CJ stopped the conversation to ask or basically posit that Frankie and Derry were in the Undershade and no living people had ever been here before. And also that Gertie had given a piece of herself and she was the one who brought BB back from the dead, which CJ had never thought to do with animals. CJ kept asking if they were here for more, having flashes and, and getting a pain in their head, 
much like what Andolin and Teddy and Gertie were feeling, struck with this pain. And finally, the last moment we had was wondering why Gertie was alive the last time CJ and her talked, and right now she was not. So you're here. What? I don't know how to leave, but you might need to. Couldn't couldn't we just take you with us? I don't I don't know. I've never I've never been able to leave, and I feel like I've been here for a very long time. Well, that, I mean that that's more reason to get out, right? I mean, Vault's changed a lot. You should see it. We can I'm sure we can get you out. Teddy can go like in and out of the shadow place at will. Maybe we can do things that can't be done. Uh, and CJ goes over to Teddy specifically and. Uh, reaches out like a hand, like uh, facing up, uh, like gesturing for your hand. I'm sorry I tackled you. Uh, yeah, CJ takes your hand. He's like, I'm sorry I put you in whatever position that you felt like you needed to tackle me in. And CJ's eyes uh, flash light again. Um, can everybody make a brains roll? Yeah. Um, God damn eight, it. unless this is protective. <laughs> no, yeah. it's to notice something. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. from from here on out, you'll probably be protected. Uh, <laughs> Four. Nine. Four, yeah. nine. Eight. One. <laughs> no. um, okay. If it won't do it, I've got tokens. But... I would say don't use tokens. Okay. Um, ding. Ding. <laughs> uh, you, eight, eight and nine, you... Um, hear like the sound of like something kicking off like, like engine like no like if some <clears throat> if someone was like if someone with powers was reeling back and kicked off of the ground you hear like almost like a sonic boom <laughs> like a and you hear like rocks go um gertie and teddy uh you can both both mark adversity Do you, you um are a little distracted with like cj i think i think the two of you especially are everyone's Fixated on CJ, everyone's yeah. very, very like involved. But I think the two of you particularly are connected to this yeah. in, a, in a way that is distracting you. So you don't see this, but Derry and Frankie do. You look to the side after you hear this sound, and you see this completely like cloudy sort of. Uh, an, uh, an octopus, like something, it doesn't have shape, it doesn't have form, but it is it is coming for you, and it's like, it has like cloudy, shadowy sort of tentacles that are that are uh, billowing off to each side as it's, it, it is not touching the ground, and it is coming right for all of you. How big is this? Bad? Uh, 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 bad? How big is this is a good question. It, it is um, probably, uh, it looks like a semi. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, bad. Yeah. Bad, um, bad, uh, uh, Teddy, Teddy, can you grab Teddy. CJ and all of us? And we, uh, CJ well, can explain more on the oh, way. Shit. We have a lot of questions. Everybody we have to go now. Flight. Deal. <laughs> you don't have to ask me twice. That is. Oh, God uh, damn it. An 11. Five. Six. Four. Fuck, guys. Okay, 11, five, six, four. 11. Five. 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 five, five six. six. Four. We're in a circle. Okay. So, 11, 5, 6, 4. 4 was Teddy? Frankie. Frankie. Okay, I'm going to go I'm going to go up. So, Frankie, you actually you rolled the second worst. So, here's where we're going to start. CJ. No, I rolled the worst. 4 is the worst. No, CJ yeah. is the worst. Oh. oh. Uh, CJ rolled uh, no wait, did you what did you roll? 6. 6. Okay, CJ rolled a 2. So uh, he doesn't have to roll. You can just make uh, him succeed. You all see in front of you, um, like a a spear, shoot directly through CJ, <gasps> like right through their their chest <gasps> and like abdomen. It's like a regular looking spear. It's no. It's okay. like it's like that cloudy like material, of, but it just like shoots yeah. directly through, um, far enough that like it goes through and pins to the ground behind them. Fuck. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, you rolled a four? Yeah. So, um, another tentacle, like this shadowy tentacle, shoots forward, and uh, it clips right through Frankie. <laughs> oh, not today. Um, like, is it is this hurting people? Or yes, what? yes it is. It, um, in fact, it splits Frankie's side open, um, knocking him just immediately to the ground. Uh, who is next? Me. Okay, Teddy, uh, a tentacle comes for you, and you, you see this happening, so you try to avoid it. Uh, and, like, when you turn, like, to get out of the way, it takes your arm clean off with part of your shoulder. Who's next? Me. Gertie. Six. Gertie, uh, you uh, you get hit. It clips your neck. And it just immediately brings you to the ground. You are still conscious. None of the others are. And you rolled 11? Mm-hmm. You have a tentacle come towards you. And you are able to get out of the way of the spear of it. But mm-hmm. as soon as you miss, it, it like whips in a way where it co- goes from stiff to like flexible, flips to the side, and whips you into a building. Like hard. Can I, can I you not? You are still conscious. Wait, can I not? <laughs> can I not though? What if it's 12? <laughs> Yeah, Are you... I, actually, actually, that's a good question. What is the DC? Yeah, what, what, what's the... I'm... You know what? You no, know, no, 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 that's, a, that's yeah. okay. I've got three points to spend, and I, I want to be able to help them out of this if I need to as the you, only one. You, you ended up with an 11, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, the DC was 20. Okay. Oh, my God. Um, so four... It's seven to nine is a is a range, right? And then four to six is a range? Yes. So if I could get For it to sure. six, a difference of six... Something slightly less bad would happen to me. Sure. So in the um, vein of can I not, I'm also pretty lucky, and all I need to do is explode only twice. That's true. Do you? So you're going for luck? <laughs> no. No. Really? No. Oh, oh no. Um. So I was 11. So 14 would be a difference of six. I'm gonna spend all three of my adversity tokens and take a slightly less bad. Uh, okay. Anybody else who wants thanks. to use tokens, you can. I, there's no way. I, I've rolled a, yeah. I rolled Is that how many you're spending? Three. Three. So I'm at 14, so it's a... Uh, Difference of six? Six instead of nine. Okay, yeah. So it knocks you to the side, you don't run into a building. Cool. But you I, get, I like, like, brace myself against the building. Yeah, and, you get, like, yeah. you get hit. Um, yeah, so you see this. Um, mm-hmm. Teddy and Frankie, you're both down. Gertie, you're still conscious, probably, like, gra- grasping at your neck. Uh... And you, this thing, like, swoops in, and the tentacles go, like, completely around everybody. What do you do? Um, I'm running for Teddy to try to, like, get him up and to get us out of here. Um, so I want, can, can I tell that he's unconscious as I'm, like, approaching? Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm just, like, calling out, like, Teddy, 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 come on, you gotta get up. We have to go. We need you. Um, and I'm gonna try to, like, shake him awake if I can. Okay, Worked yeah. so well last time. Sure. Um, <laughs> just slap me. Um, yeah. yeah, actually, you know what? We're in the, we're, we're in the undershade. I'm going to slap him. You're going to slap him? Okay. But I'm, I'm going to roll grit because he's my best friend. Sounds good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll grit to actually to grit slap to him. Actually to slap, slap him as hard as I think I need to. Okay. You know? All right, cool. Goodbye. Oh, my God. Yeah, we'll take that. All um, right. I'll go ahead and mark it. <laughs> you want to grab that for us? Oh God. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, bye. Okay. That's okay. So I couldn't bring myself to do it. Yeah. I rolled a one. Sorry for you anyone who's not in the room. It. Yeah, it was a one. Uh, couldn't bring yourself to do it. You go, like, you, you bring your hand back and you, well, plus three and, like, for and you go in. Um, so four, do you yeah. want it? Yeah, 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 yeah I yeah, think yeah. so. This is protective. I'll give yeah. you that. Um, so yeah, so you go in and it's like a <laughs> like a very soft, like, like uh, and I think, I, don't, I mean, like, it's probably very hard for you. Mm-hmm. Both the situation and like knowing you might need to do this, but you just well, can't like, bring yourself to it. You just lost an arm. <laughs> like I don't want to. It's true. Which arm was it, William? Um, your left. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Um, roll flight for me. Okay. Then, if that's if that's what you will be doing. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit of it fighting, but four. Am I my friend? <laughs> That's a, that is a hard question to answer. Uh, 13 to 4? Yeah, yeah, I can't. Okay, difference of 9? Nine. 9, I can only make it 7. Okay, so it's not a lethal blow. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. Um, uh, as you're down and you go to, like, slap Teddy and you just give a little, like, pat on the face, you just can't bring yourself to do it. 
Um, and you hear before you can see it right away, you see like a, something like swiftly coming through your periphery. And you look just in time to see one of these tentacles has gone from, uh, not from like a rigid spear or uh, like a, a flexible whip, but um, into a serrated edge and cuts you in half. Uh, you are still Which... conscious, roll me grit yeah, to see yeah, if yeah. that's true. Top half, bottom half, or, or like? Top, top half, bottom okay. half. Roll a d2. Um, three, but it bounced off my thumb. You want to roll it again? <laughs> I want to roll it again. <laughs> nine. That's much better. <laughs> um, like, set, okay, nine. I, I would even say protective can go into this because okay. you might be trying to keep yourself... I mean, I'm only staying alive right now to get Teddy to get us out of here. I don't think this harm is permanent, so that's 12 then. Yeah, so you're still up. So okay. you you fall to the ground and you look over and you can see Gertie still awake, holding okay. her neck and looking at you. What do you want to be doing, Gertie? Uh, where's Andolin? Um... Mm, good question. That is a good question. Did she roll flight? Uh, I didn't roll flight for Andolin. And Andolin has a pretty good flight, mm -hmm. which is... Save us, Andy. You're our only hope. Okay, okay, okay. all right, Hold okay, on. kaboom. All right. Okay, so, so she... all of that happened very quickly. Mm -hmm. Andolin, uh, when a spear, like a tentacle spear comes for, for her, she like hops both legs out to the side and like vaults off of it and cool. uh, and like yeah. run like runs over like uh, inside of like a crevice like an alley in between two buildings and then as soon as she sees Teddy get hit she runs back in and so she's coming over just as Derry is getting cut mm -hmm. in half like that's where Andolin is you see Gertie you see Teddy has just fallen to the ground in half Andolin is running towards Teddy like completely shocked and like devastated um, and again, you look over and you see CJ, not moving, not conscious, but eyes no longer flickering, completely beaming lights, like as their head is like tilted down, looking through this, this cloudy like spear that has pierced them. These eyes are glowing, like illuminating this part of the, the cloudy spear and also the ground around them. What do you do? Well, I want to go to Frankie first. Um, Roll grit to crawl. Oh my god. Yes. Um, give me a flight. One. One. Okay. So you get the strength in you to like start pulling yourself forward. Um, but you're not going very fast at all. And I mean, like some of the tentacles like are just in your way, but like you manage to to get yourself like through the underneath of one of them as as this this creature is, is spending more time looking at Andolin at the moment, who is up and running. and you you get over to just before you're reaching Frankie and a tentacle falls crushing him. Do I still have my knife? Um, you do. Um, these tentacles, are they, uh, are they made out of fog? Like, are they, like, if I were to try and touch it? And they vaulted off of one, so yeah. it's like, oh, okay. there's some consistency um, to them. Can I, just out of pure adrenaline and seeing Frankie crushed, can I take out my knife and just, like, stab the tentacle? Yeah. And, like... Yeah, fight. It'll be good to know what happens when this happens. Mm -hmm. Two. Um, I say you you take out the knife and you stab into it. Uh, and this this thing was like just reaching for Andolin. Uh, a tentacle, another tentacle was coming up, and it like you hear a low guttural shriek inside of it, but you also hear a really familiar voice of Little Pete in that shriek. And that guttural shriek is like the guttural sound we've been hearing. Yes. Okay. Um, and suddenly a face appears uh, sort of like clouded over uh, at where you would assume a face would be on this creature. And then the face moves through the body all the way to the tentacle that you have stabbed into and is right next to you. And it just looks at you for a moment. And the tentacle severs right where you stabbed into it and regrows as it takes a swing at Andolin, who is now at Teddy's body. 
And Andolin is going to try to avoid that. And that's going to be a difference of six. Uh, Andolin gets knocked to the ground right next to Teddy, is like beat down, um, like lands like bracing herself and, and possibly like with the impact of hitting the ground that hard may have broken a bone in her arm. Uh, you're you're seeing this uh, more, Gertie. Is there one more thing you want to do? Um, is the face still next to me? It moved away. Um, I think Gertie is uh, just going to kind of keep repeating to herself, this isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't real. Um, um, is there a way that Gertie... I think, because Gertie thinks that CJ maybe can become a portal back to reality. Okay. Is there a way she can grab every, or like, like use the force to like get everyone mm, to I CJ? See. Um, roll grit. So <laughs> with the, you, you. Forsaken by dice. You feel yourself fading a little bit, um, but like. You, you feel like if you were in the quote-unquote reality place, you would be unconscious by now. But you keep, like, going down to the point of unconsciousness and then, like, being brought back up and down and brought back up um, a little bit. So your eyes are, are fading down. Um, it's, like you've, it's like you're continuously standing up too fast from being seated for a long time, and you get that dizziness, and then you're seeing again. Um, yeah? I have a question. Can I, um, can I roll brains to know... If there's anything I can bring into existence uh, down here that would help me by using Treasure Hunter, or um, if you want to just use Treasure Hunter, you can. Uh, that that spending an adversity token to have one useful item in your surroundings, like to, to just to find a to useful just, item. Yeah, to find a useful item. Okay, but and you want to use brains to figure out what that useful item is. Uh, sure. But do you know what I'm getting at? Like, like how you pulled the picture out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, roll brains. Nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, you do learn information. Okay. You learn, and you think about it, and you're trying to produce something, and you remember that was in the shadow place, not the undershade. As you hear... Another crack at Andolin. Can I try to do something before Andolin gets attacked again? Because I haven't moved in in a bit. I, I, um, are you still? I mean, I, I got cut in half, but like I, I, I saw what happened, and I wanted to try to do. Something. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. What do you want to do? Well, the first time she got hit, I want to redirect attention to myself. Um, um, so you'll have Andy to roll grit to do anything, right? That's now. fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy, no, I'm happy cool. to roll. Uh, if you're not going to give it to me for free, I will roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and all I'm doing is I'm reaching over towards like my lower half um, and trying to call out like it's okay guys I have something in my pocket I can stop him um, to try to get him to come after me. Gotcha. So I'm gonna roll grit to get that much out, and then I'll roll charm for how effective that is. <laughs> um, I rolled a one. Can I just mark adversity and die? Wait, wait, four, today. four. Four won't do it. How, by how much? You you go out to... <laughs> by how much? By how much? How many do you have? Didn't you... Some. I, I've... <laughs> um, wait, okay. Four? To get the sound out? Um, to get sound out, ten. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I can get to yeah. six, so... So you open your mouth to produce, like, sound, but, like, you're trying to speak without a diaphragm at the moment, mm -hmm. and, uh, and... And just as, like, you reach out to, like like produce that sound mm -hmm. another tentacle comes down and lands on both Teddy and Andolin Andolin who is grasping for Teddy um, you go unconscious uh -huh. Gertie you can see all of this now the tentacles like pull back in uh, CJ in front of you uh, their face is beginning to crack into pieces and uh, it's it's glowing out um from, from all of those shards. Uh, the tentacle that is a spear through them pulls out, they collapse to the ground, and a piece of the back of their head shatters, showing more light emanating onto the ground. All of the tentacles wrap back into this one 
pristine cloud in front of you, still very large, and then all of them go around and scoop you up and swirl around you, picking you up so that you are braced by your arms, your legs, and so your head is locked into place. This cloud then positions itself in front of you and you see little Pete's face. This isn't real. <sighs> and you lied. I lied? CJ asked if you were good, and you lied. Okay. You didn't even know them. You didn't know their story. Do you? Yes, I do. Okay, well, you can tell everyone about it. Because you'll be down here for a really long time, Gertie. You want to know why? Because you're never getting out of here. Because I found your body. And it's not underground anymore. Have a nice life. Pete. And then it Pete. drops you to the ground and shoots into the air. You no longer feel that security of going under and coming back up and going under and coming back up. You feel yourself completely fading. And your head lays to the side on this road, the engine still running for the car that you jumped out of to go and run down CJ. You see CJ bursting with more light. You lean back and you look up at the sky and the sky, that is the sky that is over bald, that apparently Andalyn created, is shattering and closing in on itself right above you. You think back. to a day you're treasure hunting with Teddy. And Teddy's using his wonderful metal detector and is finding nothing. And it should be a bad day because you've got nothing. But it's the summertime and it feels nice to be out. And it feels nice to be out with Teddy and for like the 17th time, he bends down to dig up another bottle cap and looks up at you with dirt on his hands as he wipes the sweat off of his forehead, leaving more dirt on his face. And he has a big smile on his face. And you think, we really have something here. And then you're in your living room, having a movie night with Teddy and Frankie and Derry. You're watching Stand By Me because Teddy really wanted you all to. <laughs> and you are like living this moment, but you're able to look around in a way that you knew you hadn't the first time this happened. And you see Teddy, and you see Derry, and you see Frankie. Frankie trying to put some popcorn inside of Derry's ear. <laughs> Derry just like hunched over, sort of accepting it at this point. <laughs> and you he think, looks like this. <laughs> and you think, we really have something here. We do. All of us. You feel yourself whipped out of the undershade, into the shadow place. You see your conversation with Teddy and the conversation with Frankie and Derry there where you said nothing. You then see the moment you teleported away from everyone. We hold on Phoebe and Marcus for a moment as they're climbing into a tree. Phoebe makes it up immediately, but Marcus doesn't quite get there before the wolves can get to him. A wolf immediately takes a chunk out of his leg. 
Phoebe, using her strength, pulls Marcus up to the branch that she's in, gun in hand, positions and takes two shots, killing two of the wolves immediately. More of the wolves are climbing up and their claws are razor sharp. They start going up the tree. As Phoebe is trying to figure out exactly how to use a gun, since she has never done it before, Marcus gestures to have the gun handed over to him. She doesn't know if she can trust him, given the injury he just sustained, but she feels her side, the injuries that she got earlier that day, and decides this is probably the best shot. She hands the gun off and Marcus takes two more shots at the wolves climbing up the tree, killing them instantly. But if you remember, I told you, Gertie, you knew exactly how many wolves there were, and there were 13. More wolves start heading for the tree. We see Derry driving by in the car with Frankie in tow. They get three of the wolves to follow them. They knock into them, killing them instantly, drive into town with two more of the wolves tailing them. That's four, three, and two. That's nine wolves. There are four left. Marcus and Phoebe take this moment to get out of the tree and run as far as they can, four wolves still chasing them down. They take one more shot before Marcus drops the gun, feeling the pain in his leg as he tries to take a step. Another wolf lunges forward, and Phoebe jumps in the way, bracing her body as she can, the wolves clawing at her arms, opening them up. She's able to go down and pick up a rock and bash two of the wolves quickly, killing them. That's 11. There's two left. At this point, they can't move very fast. Phoebe has reopened the wounds on her side, has new wounds on her arms, and Marcus's leg is bleeding out. It was a deep gash. They're hobbling away and trying to take hits where they can as the wolves keep coming in and then backing out and coming in and backing out. Finally, Marcus collapses on the ground. A wolf comes over, bites his arm, and he pulls a rock to the side and bashes it dead. Another wolf lunging forward, Phoebe takes out with one final motion. They had a feeling of where you might have gone. They find Bibi pawing at the dirt in front of her, whimpering. Phoebe carrying Marcus over her shoulder, holding her side. All right, Marcus, come on, stay with me. Stay with me. Come on, come on, honey. Slapping his face, making sure he stays awake. He lets out a little, oh, it's okay, I just, I just need a little go-gurt, you know me. <laughs> That's all I need. She loses the strength to keep moving and falls next to Bibi, keeping enough strength to raise her arm up and pet this dog that's in front of her. Hey, Bibi, you wouldn't happen to be able to like, I don't know, heal a person or something, right? as she starts growing more and more tired. As she fades, she looks down at where Bibi was pawing and sees the bottom of a face that she would recognize anywhere. Unable to speak or shout or say anything, a tear runs down her face as she loses consciousness. Bibi fully barking now because of someone who has just stepped out of the woods towards her. Dake Marin walks over and picks up Bibi by the scruff. Laser beams shoot out of Bibi's eyes, hitting him in the only good eye he has left. Out of the shriek of pain, he throws Bibi, holding both of his eyes, tripping over the face of Gertie Fox in the ground. He feels, 
starts digging out and pulls out the rest of a body. He's not sure who it is, but he sits for a moment, his eyes injured, going black, staring down, and then come back. Dake then leans his head up to the sky and lets out a howl. We hear a couple more howls in the distance, not nearly as much as Dake would like. He pulls the body out as far as he can and rests it on the ground, falls to the side clutching his eye. As wolves' eyes appear in the darkness of the woods, creeping ever closer to Gertie Fox's body. Then Gertie, you're standing, holding the knife that your pappy gave you, that you've just taken out, dropping a note on the ground. You pick it up, you read it, and the first rule is this is a knife. The second rule, survive. You blink and you are nowhere. And you hear a voice. You left a piece of yourself here. So when we talked before, I thought it only fair that I leave a piece of myself with you. I hope you are good. And you're back. And you feel a power as BB nuzzles up against your leg and starts tugging on your sock, pulling you to the gunfire and the sounds of wolves. You are exactly where you were right before you brought yourself to the shadow place. You know you have a power, a power that was given to you as a gift for giving a piece of yourself. You have precognition and you can see the future, and you've seen what is about to happen. What do you do? Um, I like, like sit back up um, out of, I like, almost as if it's just like an electric shock, I like almost bounce out of the ground and like kind of like um, uh, scoot myself up against uh, the side of a tree trunk with BB and Gertie's just shaking. Um, and the first thing I do is I'm looking around. Mom! Dad! Mom! You hear a gunshot. Dad! Um, uh, brains to follow the sound or? Sure, brains to follow sound sounds good. Okay. Yeah, g guessing and knowing exactly where they are. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah, you know exactly where they are. In fact, I mean, you know these woods so well. Didn't I give you plus three for like the woods a long time ago, both of no. you? No. No. Didn't I? Wasn't it your domain? Didn't I say something like that? Huh. Is it now? I think it is now. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Plus three for domain? Plus three for loves trees? Plus three loves trees. <laughs> <laughs> you can't use it to take um, uh, half or, or do the, the nine and below, but mm -hmm. you can use it to add plus three, just like what we do with uh, Love's Dogs. Mm -hmm. So that would bring that up to a 12. It's a stand bonus. Um, yeah, you know exactly where they are. You know exactly what time it is. You know exactly what time it is uh, compared to what you have just seen. And so you know that Marcus has just gotten pulled up into the tree after being bitten by one of the wolves, and that's him taking the shots at the ones climbing the trees. I grab BB and 
Can I roll flight to just get there as fast as possible? Um, yeah, absolutely. And you can add plus three to that. <gasps> oh, That yeah. exploded. Yeah. yeah. Um, Did that 11, explode again? No, no. Uh, 11, <laughs> it's like an eight from 12, here. Is it a three? 13, 14. Okay, 14. Yeah. Um, Pretty good. Uh, you're going to teleport. Where do you want to be exactly? Fuck. Um, uh, um, well, I was going to say, I want to be right with mom and dad, but I don't know whether to be up in the tree with mom to help pull up dad. Sure. Uh, you know, he's up in the tree. He has the gun. Right? Oh, oh, oh. Um, because he's shooting. Are they securely up in the tree? They're securely up in the tree. They're they're fine up there, but wolves are their claws are so sharp that they're digging into the tree and climbing up it. Um uh okay. Well I, I guess I just want to be where mom and dad are. Um uh up in the tree. Up a little higher in the tree? Yeah. Or, or no, maybe, like maybe, or you wanna be on their branch. Well, I guess maybe a branch. It's sturdy above. enough. Oh it's it fine. is? Then yeah, on yeah. the same branch. Okay. Account for BB's weight though. Oh, you're right. So add, add like 12, 13 pounds. Yeah, yeah no, this isn't going to cut it. Um, <laughs> okay, so you are now on the branch. And you, like right when you get there, you you see two wolves. Like, It's weird because you heard gun, like you hear one gunshot far away, and then you hear another gunshot close up. And it kind of hurts your ears a little bit. But it's like, yeah, it, you're 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 okay. Um, it's you're luckily in a, a wide open space, so it's loud. It's loud. It's louder than you would expect a gunshot to be. But it doesn't hurt in a way that you think. Um, it rings, and then it's everything is like muffled in your ears. So that's what you're getting right now. All of a sudden, it's muffled, and then Marcus and Phoebe look at you, and your dad is like, "Oh my god." All right, she's in the tree. <laughs> and Phoebe, and Phoebe like wants to go over to hug you, but like you're between, uh, you're like Marcus is between the two of you, and she goes, "Oh my God!" She reaches out a hand. Uh, you, uh, you, you need to get out of here. There's wolves, and then you I got know. a dog. I know. Um, can I take hold of both of them and and Will and Phoebe and try to teleport again? Um, you don't have to try, right? Was te- no, you do. What well, telepathy was your first power, right? Or was teleporting? No, teleportation was her first. Time. Teleporting was your first one. Yeah. You just get to do that. Cool. Um, I guess the safest place would be back in the car with everybody. Oh my god, do this, please. Okay. Oh um, oh. roll with advantage. <laughs> um, this is the twenty, right? Um, it would tech. Yeah, mm, it would technically be uh two d eight. Oh oh oh. So 2D8. the way this is gonna work is you're gonna roll three d eight. D- D8. Why am I saying D8? You mean D4? I did this last time too. D4s. I'm so sorry. So you roll 3D4 and take the roll highest two. Roll 3D4, take the highest two. Oh, wait. No. That's Frankie's. It's lucky. And then can I get one of those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have, you can have, one, of, you can have one of mine. You know what? Okay. Take the little baby. Do the kids on bice die. Kids on bice die. Kids, oh, on, kids on bice die. Great color. Oh! Kids on bice. <laughs> well, okay. Kids on bison. <laughs> <laughs> right shit. into the microphone. Okay. <laughs> So those both exploded. Yes. Yeah, those exploded. Um, we got another explosion. Okay. Thanks, Frank. Um, so so we're at 13. We've got five, and then um, this one exploded twice. So 13, so 13 yeah. Thir- 15. 15. Holy fuck. So you oh, have just four. you've just turned around. Frankie has convinced you, like, yeah, we got to go back. And you're like, all right. Um, and, and it's like, buck- buckle your seatbelts. And Frankie's like, okay, click. And then all of a sudden, like, boom, and Marcus and Pete, it's, like, really packed <laughs> in the back. It's, like, so packed. Yeah. I wasn't going to jump. I slammed well, the Teddy door was laying down in the very back yeah, seat. Yeah, Teddy so, is yeah. so, so <laughs> They're all, like, on top of yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Foxes, uh, actually, you know what? I think I would probably slam on the brakes the second that, like, people oh, enter sure. the car by so a surprise. Slam on so, the yeah. brakes. The Foxes all, like, mm-hmm. fall forward because none of them are buckled up. <laughs> Um, Gertie, you're okay. And Marcus am, is like, hold Marcus, on, I got a gun. Right? I got a gun, hold okay, on. Okay, all right. Uh, let, let break. Everyone, get over here, get over here. Everyone, uh, watch out for gun. Um, uh, yeah, give me the gun. Okay. Um, Should I be you guys okay? Is everybody okay? Everybody who is, okay, so you three, I need you to roll either brains or grit right now. You get to decide. I'm going to roll brains. Wait. Don't roll it yet. I, hang on, I'm unconscious. You no. still get to roll it. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Ten is your DC. Okay. Okay. All of the adversity tokens you spent in the precognition get back. 
Okay. I didn't meaning, spend any. Meaning like in... It, the ones you spent at the beginning of this episode. Okay. The okay. three that I know of, did you spend more than that? Um, no, I don't think so. Cool. What about so tokens three? earned? Yeah. Keep them. Cool. Okay, our, cool. Our DC Can we is, say I tried a bunch know. of things that failed before I died? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it. Um, and then, so how many are you at? I'm still at three. The DC is ten? Ten. Okay, I rolled an eight. I'm using two adversity tokens. Okay. I rolled an 18. Oh. Can I have two adversity tokens? <laughs> I rolled an 11. Can can I win? You Well, you all got it. Well, you got an eight, but you used two yeah, adversity I'm... tokens. You are flooded with everything Gertie just experienced. Including the undershade Including stuff. the undershade stuff. Okay. Okay. Is Teddy awake now? Roll grit. This is a separate grit check. Five. I'm gonna say I don't. Not yet. <laughs> okay. So just, so everything that Gertie experienced, does that mean that I saw the undershade stuff from her point of view, but I don't remember my own experience of that? Yeah. Yeah, um, you, what this is, is you remember everything you did. Right. Right. And. But do I, but I'm like aware that that is like because Gertie saw it? Or is it just like I, I no, also you, like sort you, of. It's like you saw like suddenly, well, like the you hit the brakes and then you see like. It's like Doctor Strange style. Your mm -hmm. body like goes forward, and another car is still going forward, and then you experience everything you had experienced. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So you get to you hit those wolves with that uh, sick maneuver. Mm -hmm. You you get into town. You hit those other two wolves. You get to your garage, like so on and so forth. You yeah, yeah. you gotcha. all experience all of that. You feel the feelings that you had. You do not feel the pain of what experience you had. Like you do not feel yourself get ripped right. in half. You do not feel an arm get like se uh -huh, severed okay. from your body. That kind of a thing. Um, Guys, what? Uh, something weird. Uh, I just, um, uh, did anyone, did I miss a womp? Uh, I just saw like a, like a vision, a, a what? vision of something. Hey, everybody. Like we were doing something I wasn't Sorry. doing. Sorry, um, hate to uh, like, Fixate on this, but I did get bit um, very yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, I, I, I can keep driving. Sure. Where, should, where should we go to? Uh, I was thinking my garage, but now uh, um, I did go there and it didn't go great. But I can try again. That's fine. Very it, okay. it worked pretty well, actually. Yeah. Wait, what are you talking what are you, about? What? I didn't explain it yet. No, we went to the. I'm gonna start driving. <laughs> you we went, went to my garage. You went and to then, your garage. And then we woke Teddy up, and he took us to the shadow place, and then the undershade, and little Pete. I, I think is this a all? plant? Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. Dude. What? Um, and Declan here. And Declan's like, uh, yeah. What exactly are you talking about? Um, what do you mean we went? Like we went somewhere? Like, I, did you all see the octopus too? Yeah, you look at the cloud, cloud octopus. Oh, you should have ducked. I should try. I should oh. sure try to. Um, I don't know if it was real or or like what, but I, I saw something that. I didn't do yet. Is this more shadow power? Sorry, Dad. Bullshit. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm, I'm having a hard time keeping up. Wait, so something happened to y'all? Is this like a plan you have? Teddy right. is screaming. Don't wakes, oh, wakes up Teddy, like, Teddy, Teddy, like Teddy. dead, uh, like like as loud Larry. as he possibly can, Same. just like Larry. screaming, screaming, Larry. screaming. I'm gonna slow down a bit. What? what what's going oh on? Wait, hold on. Um, no, Derry, talk to Teddy. Make sure Teddy's okay. Don't worry about me. What's can up I, with Teddy? Can I hear Teddy with baby? Um, yeah. Or whatever Teddy's experiencing. Um, I want I want you to roll brains first. Okay. You just gotta wipe your father's blood off him first. Six. Six. Great. Um, and add plus three because you love dogs. That's why I'm having you do this. Uh, uh, nine. Yeah. All of this chaos is happening, and you're holding BB, and you're like, oh, like, I, I need to heal so many people is probably what you're thinking. Like, I need to heal my dad. I need to heal Teddy. I need to, like, everyone needs healing. We've been so fucked up this whole day. Um, and, and like, when you finally, like, oh, maybe I, maybe I can just heal Teddy. Like, that seems the most, like, dire at the moment. You, you feel BB... And BB uh, is looking up at you, smiling, and like licks your face with human teeth. With human teeth. <laughs> with your, licks with you Frankie's with her human baby teeth. teeth. <laughs> um, no, oh. but but licks you, and then um, and then you feel 
and she is like room temperature. <laughs> Very cold. Um, brains real quick to... Well, that's good. Right. Like, does that... But this has happened before, so... Is this, a, this is the coolest she's been since she started, like, overheating, right? This is, like, the coolest Bibi's ever been. She's Glasses so cool. and all. She's always been a little bit warm. She's so fucking cool. She's um, so cool. Is, okay, so, so wait, does she look better, though? Mm-hmm. She was smiling. Okay. It, it sounds like she's better. Smiling, smiling, lick your face. Yeah, smile, lick your face. Um, well then, yeah, can I just go ahead then and, I mean, am I, I guess it's not important why that's happening right now. I'll figure it out later, but can I heal Teddy? Um, healing uh, would require a d20 roll and then uh, a very specific roll for me if you would like Teddy healed, the dairy would need to do it. Right, which is what you were trying to do before too, which right. like, I Jonas wasn't saying no to. Okay. I dairy was just like, Teddy just woke up, don't look at me right now, I have gotta drive. Um, Are you still, but wait, did you stop? Gotta drive, still, baby. I stopped the car and then we're driving again. That's just like okay. the classic yeah. Ryan Gosling line from Drive, gotta drive, baby. Um, <laughs> from the classic movie, gotta drive, baby. Yeah. But yeah. like, I mean, if you gotta yell baby drive. like, if you were to like yell to Derry that like BB's feeling better, which is the only reason he wasn't healing Teddy last episode, yep, yep, yep. Um, that is something that he would do. Boom, so, yeah. that's exactly I, what Gertie said. Okay, I, cool. I do, hey, I do, what you need to hear. <laughs> I, I do want to still, I want to say, Teddy is still screaming yeah. as loud oh, yeah, as yeah, he yeah, possibly yeah. can. You know what? Yeah. Frankie's just matching your tone and, and, and just like, ah! Right there with so, you. We're harmonizing. <laughs> it's a lot of yelling. It, it's a lot of yelling that like ultimately culminates in BB heel. And in here's the, the thing. I mean, screams have overtones. You could be like singing a full chord right now. Technically, we are if we're all singing different pitches. <laughs> I just mean like, well, that's. But you think it I might mean, be? You mean, you mean it might be a good one? Colorful, complex chord. You like you do this and <laughs> BB heel. Yes, BB, BB heel. Roll me. BB heel. Uh, two, uh, two D four. Two D four plus loves dogs. That's just Gertie. Yeah, that's just Gertie. Sorry, sorry. Fuck. One explosion. I'm at uh, nine. nine. We we saved all of our good rolls for this. Back Nine's episode. good. <laughs> so, um, you're healing Teddy right now. Yes. So you heal Teddy. Teddy, your <laughs> your head completely like clears up. There's no cloudiness, there's no fogginess, there's no pain. It's just like, whoo, like you're fully back. Um, and your ankles swell down a little bit and you feel your shoulder like reset. Your ankles are still a little, still a little testy. I what? said heel. <laughs> what about, okay, uh, what about, what about my, cause Dake grabbed me by the throat and like was crushing my esophagus. How oh, that's that, right. How um, does that feel? Uh, you feel like you have a sore throat, but you can talk normal. Okay, cool, cool. So and like, or the, you can talk like how you did. The instant that happens, Teddy stops. Like it's like a sudden. It's like a like a hard stop, and uh, is just looking around all of you. Frankie's still screaming. Frankie, Frankie, quiet, please. It's really hard to drive regularly. Please, Frankie, Frankie. Gertie got her hand on your forehead. Frankie, think about your forehead. Can you your hand lower, Gertie, if you can. Hold on, I can't hear you. Somebody uh, turn on some Somebody music. please heal my leg. <laughs> oh, um, it was the bad one. They, they luckily, where, uh, where kisses up in the sky. Not we're, the we're going. Cat. We're going to band practice. No, uh, Frankie, no. how does BB feel? We can't go to the garage. We Roughly die if room we go to the garage. Which is slightly odd. She, okay, uh, but she's still good. Uh, BB, heal your dad, Marcus. BB, two D four. Okay. <laughs> Wait, are you gonna do it? Yes. You want to laser beam his legs off? No! <laughs> That's one way. It's uh, solarizing. Another explosion. Holy fuck. Eight that time. Eight. Eight will, yeah, if it's just the leg, because Marcus wasn't hurt anywhere mm -hmm. else. Yeah. yeah. So you do that. Um, you feel like these two powers like directly in a row. Uh, Frankie, you feel you feel um, BB warm up just a little bit. She's um, getting colder. Close. Do you want the dog to die? 
Don't. Is that a joke Frankie would make right now? Do you, Frankie, do you want the duct? <laughs> this, no, is, this is high stakes. D- Derry, you have to stop. Look, high stakes and handlebars. I, I know. I last time. Oh last time. Oh what I said, I said high it, stakes and handlebars. Oh, nice. Nailed it. Nailed Great. It. Nailed, um, it. Nailed, um, it. Nailed it. Look, if we go to the garage, we'll all get it. We just, look. I, no, I refuse. Come on. No. Come on. Teddy, I saw what you saw. We just won't do what we did, okay? We'll do it different. It'll be fine. We're going to die. We're going to die. Not this time. We're going to die. Teddy, we know how to We know how to die. We'll do not that. We'll go to the garage and just hide out, okay? The plan went bad, whatever Darian, it was. What, Darian, what can you do that wait. one more time for mom? Okay. What? Um. Hang on. Sure, BB, what heal, just heal, heal, BB. 2D4. <laughs> what just happened? 2D4. That's a, that's like, so, so that was definitely um, not the shadow place, but that was some definite ni- nightmare zone. This has been my dice almost eight. every time. Eight. Eight again. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um. So. Thank God you cheat. <laughs> I love, I love Sam's dice so much. <laughs> um, yeah, so... So I uh, Phoebe like immediately like the wound she had like reopened them trying to pull um, Marcus mm-hmm. back up into the tree and wasn't telling anyone. <laughs> um, uh, but they like seem to have sealed up. Um, and as soon as Phoebe feels that, she's like, um, Gertie, can we do Gertie next? Is that the next person we Gertie, can do? Gertie, BB, heal. Okay, two D four. <laughs> this is like using po- potions in Pokemon, like just fucking. <laughs> Great, uh, seven. Seven. Um, yeah, Gertie, um, would you kindly remind me of everything that was wrong with you? You had a broken leg. Um, yeah, I had a broken leg. You had um, gashes across your chest. E- uh, yes, gashes across my chest. Um, there was something... Wrong with your arm, right? Yeah, and then, um... Because you had been grabbed by Big Rob. Well, I had a whole right. body blow. Oh, that's right, that's um, right. Jesus. Um, and then the octopede got you in the neck. Yeah. No, that didn't happen yet. Did you see um, that too? What is happening? I don't know. We Not mere zone garage. garage. Sorry, Dad. I think. I think. Oh, um, and then a chest thing, or like a stomach thing. Stomach thing. Okay. Well, um, um I I have some adversity. If or maybe I can, that was like, the the slash. If that would be important here, because this is one of the lower rolls I've had. It's psychic tokens. Oh, okay. It's psychic tokens. Would right. you like to use them? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how many would you like to use? I don't know how many I have. Right. I don't know. I, I, don't. Um, do they? Are they? Do they come back ever? They will. Yeah. I will use two. You will use two. Okay. Yeah. So that bumps us up to a nine, a nine, which is what I had rolled for Teddy. Okay. Right. right? Yeah. Yeah. A nine, which is with nine, eight, 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 seven to now nine. So you, um, you feel like these these gashes. Like, here's pretty much what's going to happen. You are going to have like scars. But they like heal heal up. Um, if pr- pressed, like strained pretty significantly, they may like reopen a little bit, but wouldn't reopen to the point they were at. Um, and then you feel your leg like reset. You feel your arm go back to pretty much normal, and like genuinely, your body feels as close to like the feeling of when you were in the shadow places like you could be while still having like a little bit of a it feels hard to move a little bit still but you are doing way better okay can we can we please one talk more about thing what can is you let's, happening let's up get here, to please? a fight a wait place, hang on safe place. Baby, i'm very proud of you i'm gonna pull out a bag of triple cheese blend and just shower ourselves with it <laughs> Do you have this? Yes. Yeah, so my backpack. Have this? Okay. Okay, yeah, this is cute. why you keep your backpack with you. <laughs> Teddy Ted Ward, no backpack, Thompson. No, never mind. I'm good. I'm fine. I can drive with broken ribs <laughs> and a broken arm. I'm fine. So, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ger- Ger- uh, Harini. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, BB, heal. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh my god, uh, that's still ten. Get it in the fucking tray. tray. <laughs> ten. Ten. Oh my god. Ten. ten. You're good. Cool. I'm, the great. only thing that aches a little bit still mm-hmm. is that arm that you keep rebreaking. Uh huh. Which is my left. Yeah. Can cool. we keep BB in frame, please? Uh, she is in the game. Yes, and BB's staying with me. <laughs> For now. For now. While you're driving. Um, On your yeah. lap? I don't feel good about that. <laughs> Alright, now, BB, if you can spare the energy, um, I would really like it if you could make me 14 feet tall and also have She's very guns warm right now. Hand. I think she should chill for a second. Yeah, she actually. is. She's actually very warm. Okay. Ooh, what if we taught BB how to chill and make her shoot ice powers? And then we I pass her back to Gertie. Feet. Gertie, BB, start thinking about it. Does anything happen? Um. Yeah, you, I suppose you wouldn't have to roll brains for this. Um, yeah, you're holding BB, and she is 
drastically reducing in temperature very quickly. Hell yeah. Gertie, what is going on? Let's let's get us to a safe place first and then and then yep. we'll talk. Hey, if you don't mind, either uh, the missus or myself would like to take over driving the family vehicle. BB, can you take us to a safe place? Okay. And I'm gonna have telekinesis activate. As my first power, I don't think I need to roll for it. You don't need to roll for it. What are you doing? Oh, um... Are you uh, put the car in a tree? Are you do like Jurassic a... Park do? Well, um, I'm picturing a more Harry Potter 2, Harry Potter Boogaloo with a flying car. <laughs> all right, you want to fly an entire car full of people. This is... I mean, we don't need all of the people. We can, like, drop off. I mean, we can, we can like... <laughs> We're running from wolves. Actually, we're running towards wolves still. You're driving towards wolves. Yeah. yeah. And are there still... Oh, no, because uh, they shot the... How many wolves are there now? Um, seems like many. It seems like still are, many wolves. There are still um, nine wolves. Okay. okay, running them over worked pretty well. Yeah, I, I'm planning on I doing that again. I don't want to say the first time, but and, the first and time... And in fact, right now... You are driving forward, and you see in front of you... Check out these results. <laughs> Thanks, Google. <laughs> Who Thank did? you, Google. Who activated that? How did Thanks. that happen? Thanks, I don't know. One. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the thing it said was, work pretty well. Yeah, I don't want to say the first time, but the first time. <laughs> Check out these results. <laughs> Check out these results. That's what I say wow. in bed. Google is... What? Oh, just man. wait till we go back and watch the VOD and we'll see the exact syllable. We like stop and find the exact syllables which have to like Google activate. Please no. All right, uh, let's Google, let's. Yeah. There's a Google employee watching this stream. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. What? Where was I? Oh yeah, you see, you see. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Derry, Gunna, and then I Dad, was, you can drive. Like you so, see six yeah. wolves coming right for you. Is like, this just, more than I remembered from last time? That's more than you the first time you encountered them, yes. Mr. Okay. Fox, um, uh, no disrespect, but uh, I remember Derry driving this car extremely well. Which so is what I'm still doing. You remember? Can we just hold on just Can somebody explain to me what, what that means? You Y'all have said it like, oh unbelievable. Holy uh, 19? Shit. Actually, uh, can I take another plus three since he clearly doesn't want me to do that? <laughs> Yeah, sure. 22. I get a little inspiration like, oh yeah? D how's it for unbelievable? Um, 22. How would you, can you just- He's like, a team! Narrate the whole thing for me. So it was, exactly I think, how I think it was just three wolves last time six of these wolves. that were hitting yes, us. Were um, hitting and it was, so it's driving straight for them at the last second turning and Tokyo drifting right into them. Sure. Um, so the three that were coming for us before are in the front and I hit those and they launch into the like ones directly behind them. It's like two, 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 and they all just go flying um, back a little bit. Uh, I guess into uh, further into the woods into or some something. Woods, hit some a tree. woods hit a tree. They, hit a tree. It, it, they all hit like... one tree, and it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, top to bottom. Um, <laughs> as we like spin a couple of times and then end up uh, resetting ourselves straight forward, and we're heading now towards. And in the car, the in the car, Mar Marcus and Phoebe and Declan and Harini are all like like gripping and like very. Eyes wide open and like, uh... Hey, Derry, have you ever thought about being a race car driver? Actually. No, and I speed up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are you're on your way to your parents' garage. Mm -hmm. All right, um, you you go forward and two more wolves start tailing you. Uh. Oh, I, can do I, the thing. Can I, uh, Hit the second on the I see them, I just I break because I know how this goes. Yeah, so the second you see them, you you break. They run into the mm -hmm. back of the car, and I'm, I like start going before I even fully stop. And it's you're like, like back up over them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then like drive back forward. <laughs> yep. And like Marcus and Phoebe and D direct D D Declan, Declan and Harini are like all like, what is going on? Like so just like collectively, they're like. <laughs> You've never driven before? <laughs> I've actually only driven once before, and it was this. So this makes a lot of sense, actually. And you were there, sort of. So, um, And Harini like, chimes in and is like, Oh, you mean like in Harry Potter when um, he did the Patronus, and he was very good at it because he knew he could do it, because he'd seen himself do it. Right? No, it was more no, like... No, not oh, like that. Not yeah. like that, actually. Oh, not like that. Okay, I'll just sit back down and have a speak again. It could, it could, it could be like that, oh, really? but it okay. isn't. It's like I did it. <gasps> oh, you don't like Harry Potter? Mm -hmm. Got Isn't your birthday the same as her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry, the card note, being loud. <laughs> what's today's date? Because today is terrible. And it's banned. It's like November 3rd. Fuck it. 
<laughs> I think it's November 1st. Fuck November 1st. It's November 1st, right? I think because so. Because it's the day after oh Halloween. God. It's November 1st. Fuck November oh 1st. Episode title. Fuck November Everyone 1st. Everyone last last arc was like, oh, it's taking us so long to get three days. And it's like, this whole thing has been one day. <laughs> this is the worst day. So, so, okay. So, <laughs> Declan, Harini, and the Foxes have no idea what is going on. They don't. I mean, the, fo- the foxes, I mean, Marcus Parents, and Phoebe. Yeah. Marcus and Phoebe, yeah. But the NPCs us, have no idea what's going on. But, but all of us do. We get you. We get you, you do. So it's kind of okay. like in Harry Potter where Hermione has the thing, so she can go back and take her classes again. Yeah, so I don't like that. That's like. pretty good. That's a pretty good comparison. Because it's about Hermione. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's kind of like one of those first person perspectives who want to get into analytical of it. Whereas, you know, Harry Potter noticed there was an inconsistency in the timeline, you know, a causal loop of sorts. Or um, here. Yeah. <laughs> so you pull up. <laughs> um, I, you, I get out of the car. Yeah. yeah I open the back door. Everyone gets out of the car. I wasn't. I wasn't awake last time. Yeah. Things are clearly different, so it's gonna go better. Okay. Okay. We can't go back to the undershade. I agree. We hide out in the garage, which was the original plan. They'll never look for us here. Teddy. I do think maybe you should check on Andy, though. Teddy is in the, in the know, shadow place before she can finish place. that that sentence. Um. Yeah, you get there and no one's there. Uh, he like pops like the whole this whole thing takes like less than a second. Mm-hmm. It's like, like by the time Gertie is mm-hmm. finishing his her mm-hmm. sentence, he's back. She's not yep. there. She's not no there. one's there. Damn it! We we it's look look it's okay because we know that she's okay somewhere. <laughs> Right? We don't know that. No, no. Pete took her last time. I don't think Pete took her. Pete took her to the undershade, right? No, no. 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 Why she, was told, she, she the told you. Um, she you would know this. You would know this. She hit in the. She hit on the top of the undershade. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> she, she hit out on top of the undershade and, um, and and was like fighting being pulled down the entire time until she saw Gertie. Okay. And okay. then she let herself go down with Gertie. I need uh, Teddy and I need Gertie um, to make a grit roll. Nine. Eight. Nine. Great. Okay. You both feel a searing pain in your heads for like a moment, <sighs> and then it's gone. What What happened? Okay. It's the thing. This is exactly like last time. Okay. What is that? Oh, also, you you notice BB like clench up for a moment, and oh. then and then stop. What is that, Gertie? Can I roll brains? Sure. Can, Can I, I roll, roll intuitive? What is that? Oh. <laughs> Mark adversity, Gertie. <laughs> um. You're using intuitive right now? Yeah. Okay, cool. And um, well, well, first off, I'm, I'm going to say I think it's the low guttural noise trying to take over those who have been in the undershade. Okay, it's not. Um, it's definitely not that. Cool. Um, but I'm, what I actually think it what is. What you actually think it is. So, so, Frankie, you're connecting the pieces. You're you're going full uh, Sherlock Holmes here. You've been doing a lot of that lately. Like, mm-hmm. um, you're, the pieces, you see them like in front of you. And... Oh. They're getting like searing pain in their heads, and when we were living this before, uh, that's what woke Teddy up the first time. And also, when we were in the undershade, that happened. But it was just Teddy, Andolin, and Gertie, um, and also, also CJ. Wait, it's all of the people who have a connection to the undershade, and possibly the people who have pieces of CJ. It is, and I'll give you this, you get an intuitive feeling that this might be the entire thing falling apart. Technically, you're not giving it to me since I spent an adversity token, so it's kind of transactional nature, so it's more like you have sold it to me. I've sold you, I've sold you this. You've sold me CJ. Guys, I think CJ's falling apart. I think all the pieces that CJ was giving out, I think, I think that's your feeling. And you saw how like CJ had those flashes and like started to fall yeah. apart. I think, I think that's what's happening. I think whatever power that the bullies have been taken from CJ, um, CJ's in the undershade, um, and not looking good. Um, oh, you're so, informing the rest of them? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I think... I don't know what happens after CJ collapses. Intuitive, what happens after CJ collapses? Wow. How many adversity tokens? Uh, one now. Okay. Um, 
What happens after CJ collapses? And if I had to posit a theory. Um, at this moment, either everyone who has a piece dies and goes away, or someone takes over and everyone else ends up with a piece of them. And I would say you could probably determine who that might be at this moment. You want to say it out loud for me? Who, who, wait. If someone was to take over right now. I have a hunch. Me too. Is it the person physically closest, as far as we know, to CJ? Is it Little Pete? It's... It's Andalyn. It's Little Pete. Okay. It was, I was thinking Andalyn, but Little Pete also makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Because Little Pete wants right. everyone to have a, a piece of him. Because he wants to control everyone, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's my theory. Okay, well that's dire. Also, this face was always doomed to break. It's it's a causal loop. Well, so who? That was expensive. Um, I'm so sorry. No, it's, it's give me a second. Just give me a second. Teddy has. Okay, I'm we're sorry, good. No, we're good. Teddy, Teddy has Teddy. gone completely. You completely can get a new pale. picture for Wait, him. Hold on. Teddy's gone completely pale. Yeah, because Teddy just realized that number one, uh, Pete is trying to take over his mind. And number two, if CJ dies, he dies. And and Andalyn and, and, and Gertie and, Gertie. and uh, literally like everyone else. Mm-hmm. So I think Teddy just like takes all of that in for a moment and yeah. then just sits on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it was just a theory. Yeah. I mean, I could be wrong. I uh-huh. mean, it's never happened before, but it could be the first time. Right now. We should all talk... Frankie, can you sit on the couch away from glass? Yeah, for sure. Um, Frankie? <laughs> I sit on the couch and just... <laughs> the, glass. I'm gonna punch you. I'm going to punch you. The garage door starts opening. It's like... Um, I'm gonna... And, and when you look over, you see... What do you want to do? Well, I want to go over to the garage opener inside, and I want to close it, okay. and I want to shut the fucking power off. Okay. Um, yeah. Can I roll? Can I just do that? Or? Roll flight. Roll flight. Cool. Yeah. Plus computers. <laughs> no. It's a computerized <laughs> system. Well, I explain. Well, like you exploded. Yeah. It's one button. Uh, twelve. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, you get over. It's like, and you push it, and it goes. Uh, it starts going back down, and right before it goes all the way down, you hear a. Uh, and you like push it back down mm-hmm. again. And you're like, uh, and you, do you want to like, do you want it to be completely closed before you cut the power? Or um, I mean, almost. almost. It's a tiny you're, okay, gap. so you're super not gonna get it all the way closed. Yeah. It keeps going like up and down and up and down. And I was like, Ted, fuck you, and I just turn off the power. Ted, Teddy is on the floor. Can Teddy lean over and see if he recognizes the person outside? Um, all yeah, persons? yeah. Well, here's how I'm gonna resolve that. You yell, fuck you, and you and you cut the power, and then you hear. Oh, is it my home? Ah, ah, ah. I open the door, like the door-ass <laughs> door, ass door yeah. that's right next to it, and I bring Baba Vahid in. And Baba Vahid's like, was that unlocked? Yes. Could it just, I could have just walked in. It's not now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not uh, now. <laughs> no. And, uh, and uh, Baba Vahid like, comes in. Okay. Baba? Uh-huh. Don't talk for a minute. We're going to talk. There's a lot more going on than you even knew about before, okay? Just... <laughs> Wow! And that's my oh, theory. I didn't plan on explaining oh, okay. stuff. No, no, no. Oh, okay, no, okay. that was a don't talk for a minute. We all have to talk because oh, okay, we okay. know things. We don't cool. have time to catch you up. Cool. Um, we don't have time for a time skip. So we need... <laughs> I know. We need to figure out a plan because right now the options that are set up are terrible. Well, and I don't know what to do. We need their, you either need to save CJ or we need to stop little Pete, right? Yeah. I mean... Do we, if we can figure out why CJ is falling apart and maybe stop that, you know, keep them together a little bit longer? I think it's too many pieces. Uh, make another grit check, Teddy and Gertie. Um, nine. Three. 
Okay, so you get that searing pain again, um, Teddy, and Gertie, you do as well. You see BB, 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 like clenches up in your arms, um, but then you like the pain like lingers with you, and it's not going to completely like floor you, but you it just like this time it isn't going away right away. Okay. Um, continue. Uh, actually, before we completely move on. Um, because of everything that has happened and since you haven't like told anybody, you both would know, and I do not think you would forget about this, and I think so it would be very pressing, uh, they were killing people in the town hall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was about to, um, I think the people that they're killing in town hall, they're using yeah, them to it. take PC, what? Uh, you just told them. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, oh, yeah. shit. Oh, shit. Okay, I yeah, just yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no worries. We have time for that time, Skip. Um, no, no, no. Oh, I, I told, told him in the, told in the precognition. In the, in, the, in the precognition, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so you do know. Right. You know, but Gertie and, or Declan and Harini don't. Declan yeah. and Harini yeah. don't, even though you've told them. Right. One thing I love is as an as a as a bit sorry everyone as a bit last episode i had declan and harini have a conversation that started with so declan declan said so uh gertie's cool huh and then when you came back to the conversation you heard uh harini go yeah like yeah so i asked her out so i guess like but now that conversation hasn't happened mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay cool. sorry okay so what if the reason they're killing people is so that they can use the people to take the pieces of CJ so that Pete can um, accelerate the rate of CJ collapse. But why is Pete trying to intentionally collapse CJ? CJ gave Pete his power. So Pete can become CJ. Right. Well, yeah, I, I think, I think we need to, I think we need to, I, I, I don't, I don't like where this is gonna go, but I think we need to lure little Pete somewhere and like You're stop absolutely him. Right. The only kill him. To kill stop Pete. him. I mean, okay, cool. honestly, I was yes. Take it a different direction. Or, or, or trap him forever on the same somewhere. Page. Like okay. we need to get rid of him as a threat. We haven't seen little Pete's body. We don't know where it is. We've only seen his illusory form, right? And like in mm -hmm. in the shadow place in the undershade, you have no idea. So there could so, be. Wait, uh, go on. Where is his power the strongest? Because maybe it maybe it works like a uh, like a like a bubble, right? Mm -hmm. Like maybe the closer we get okay. to him, the more powerful we will. F you all felt it when that womp happened out in the woods. It was way weaker than when you were like right. in town. So that's like like town center is where it felt like the womp was coming from. Right? When you were doing your brain stuff, mm -hmm. like back when you were in the clinic, exactly like, like the since no the center, center town. The, the yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. So. So he, I, I mean, something is there. That might be the next stop for us. Um, let's do it. We have time for a time skip. Uh, and then, uh, you're gonna explain um, things to Bob and Mike. Oh wait, really, really quick. Uh, no, we don't have Declan time. Declan and Harini, you found perfume in my mom's room and in my dad's bathroom. Uh, can you, can you get that? Oh yes, I'm, I'm sure I can, I can do that. Did, did I? Don't did, I, did I happen to tell you where I found it, or is it? Just... Um, no, but there's only like I'll eleven drawers. It. I'll go get it. I'll You'll get figure it, it out. Okay. It's... We don't need one of everything this time. Okay. It's time. It's inevitable. Uh, Shh, Harini. <laughs> How many vases do you have in the garage? Um, actually, you did you just break another another expensive? Yeah. Vase? What was okay. your third? Uh, I'm recently? actually going to punch Frankie just so he knows that I mean it, um, and stops breaking the fucking shit because Derry has had enough. Uh, uh, I'm that gonna, is. Gonna, 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 Protect. I'm gonna protect Frankie. Cool. cool. Wait, can I? May um, I, this can is I try seven. to defend myself first. Um, okay, but Gertie's still gonna. Then you would have to be like, no, no, no. I guess okay, I guess. cool. Well, you can help by using adversity tokens if Frankie fails the roll. If they're successful, I want to just very casually block mm -hmm. Darius' hand and just and, catch him in a headlock. And the goal here is not to hurt him so much as to oh my to get him to fucking stop. Uh, it, I rolled Six. a seven. Uh, plus three because it is also for persuading children, which is literally what I'm doing. That's um, so true. Punching so his persuasion. To get him hey. well, oh, I'm, you think Frankie doesn't think that? Yeah, exactly. And the only reason Derry is going to punching now, even though he used to be a punchy boy, is because he said, if you break another vase, I'm going to punch you. That's true. So he is punching you. That, that, for that, So you remember when you got punched in the face by Cynthia? <laughs> This, this feels a little bit harder than that. Oh mm -hmm. no, time isn't inevitable. BB heal, Frankie, stop. <laughs> Roll 2d4. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, that, great, three. <laughs> three. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, you it doesn't even fully remove like the the you you have like a um where where, where did you punch Frankie in the face like um uh, I mean, I was probably going for like. Don't a, say temple. No, oh, that's okay. bad. That's right. Yeah, um, do not. um, I don't. I, is, is like, like a little bit of cheek. Like cheekbone feels like the. the yeah. So would you punch a child in the face? There's so much arm available. <laughs> yeah. You uh, yeah. So you get hit like your your. I, mean, cheek, I didn't say face, but your I asked cheek, where uh, in the face, got so really red and puffed up a little bit. Oh, I, you didn't say face. No, no, no. But but I, I also don't know that I had the choice. Frank Dairy so, didn't necessarily so have the choice. You know. I'm just saying, punching a ten year old in the face. It's very, very <laughs> funny to me yeah. to see Derry hey. punch and put Frankie in the face. That's... I never thought it would come to this, but it has. If um, only you um, can roll like that against okay. the bullies. That's what we need. All right. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I have this M80. I'm just going to casually light the fuse, and I think we should take it and we should... <laughs> Save down. it, but I like where your head's at. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, good idea. Okay. Um, really quick, Frankie, I'm sorry that I hit you. Let's you, do stuff. You deserved a li- he did warn you that he was going to punch you if you knocked over another base. And punching is never okay. Never. Hurry and that's why I'll never do room. it again. All right. So Jesus. It took me a little bit of time. Did I just scare you? Yeah, sorry. I'm very on edge. Mm, okay. Well, I found. I did find some, but I I mean, unfortunately, I did test all of them because I wanted to know what they smelled like, and now uh-huh. my wrist smells I know. Like yep, you bad. did it. Please give. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. Been here. Oh, a little pushy. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to help. Is this um, to hide Jerry's going to start spraying everybody. Gertie. Yeah. Do you think you can teleport the four of us to Town Hall? Or near there? Um, uh, the four of you? Um, Wait, is that... Uh, are, are, you, oh. are you going to be doing everything without us? Y- yeah. I mean, yeah. we might take for, moments. Declan, Declan, like, goes off to the corner and just goes, Yes! <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yes. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't want to feel that way, but he does. Um, I picture the shot where he just like, oh, oh, that's too bad. Turns around, so you can see all of us in the back. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, and here, he, here's the short version of, of why, Harini. We all have been here before. We failed and experienced death, and we all remember and came back here to before we failed and died. So that worked for us and not for you. I so st- we need to go. I still I don't think- know. How did that happen? I don't know how any of this stuff is happening, but it's something about us. We are special. The us together is something. And Phoebe and Marcus uh, both like kind of chime in. Um, it's like, well, okay, wait, y'all died? So, so y'all died, and you're telling us you died and failed. You failed and died. Yeah. And now you want to go off and do it on your own again. Like, like that's like... Yes. Supposed to convince us? Yes, because we will come back and we'll remember. We weren't together last time. You think that this is some too. kind of a ground out kind of thing? Yes. Literally. So yes. you think you think that when you die, you're just gonna you're just gonna come back and and why and you'll remember and everything's gonna be okay. I well, mean, maybe. Out of all the times I've died, yes. How many times have you died? Once. Just the one Just just this once. Yeah. So Octopete killed me. Batten, batten a thousand. Octopete? Octopete. Oct- Octopete? Yeah. It was a whole thing we can explain more later. But we're immortal, at least for now. And you need to stay safe. I do want to stop. You know exactly what happened. Are you going to say anything? Um, yeah, I want to. I, is this the time to do it? Well, you just heard Derry say we're immortal. <laughs> and you very much know you're not. Um, okay. Well, Derry, uh... What? That's not true. We don't know that yet. All four we of us came back. We saw that. everything that happened. I need to talk to all of you. I need everyone... Ugh, okay, can we just make... I think for now we're safe. Can we lock all the doors? Maybe pull some shades? Yeah, um, I need... Uh, yeah. Doors are locked, shades are down. There are no already. shades in the garage, yeah. 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 But yeah, yeah. Um, okay. You guys don't remember anything before. Do you guys remember me running away? Yeah. 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 Um. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but he uh, does. Yeah. Uh, I need help. Okay. Franny needs help, like, okay. like explaining this. Uh, how how much are you going to tell them? Because um, like they only experienced what they experienced. They didn't see what you saw or like yeah. do what Which you means, did. Would, Teddy would re- remember what he had like 
You remember there was a thing... You Like, all of you remember Gertie ended up in the Shadow Place and that Derry and Frankie weren't clear on how she got there and didn't believe what she said to Teddy. So you remember that? And, uh-huh. like, the feelings are very, like, subdued. You don't you don't remember exactly, like, you were, like if you were furious or, like, what was yeah. going on. Mm-hmm. Um, but you, yeah. like, you remember the information. But, it's hard to get, like, the feeling. You're it, it, Funnily enough, you're having a very hard time empathizing with yourselves. But Teddy was already suspicious that Gertie did Teddy what was she suspicious. had done. And then CJ kind of confirmed it, at least That's for him, true. I think. But we might, yeah. Yeah, t- I, I think Teddy hasn't realized until this moment that everything that he saw was real. Like, I don't oh, know. Okay. Like, I think mm-hmm. he was having... Because he, he just woke up from unconsciousness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, so that's true. he's really out of the loop at this point. Yeah. And so I think, like, as Gertie is starting to, like, talk, he, like, is kind of, like, nodding along. Like, so... Well, and I, I think the point that Gertie wants to uh, super emphasize is I, this, we, we've been gifted a second chance. This was not supposed to happen, and it did um, because of CJ. We are not immortal. We are still very, very much in danger. We need to go about all of this very delicately and carefully. Um, I just think, like, Teddy has been kind of just, like, like maintaining eye contact with Gertie, and I think he just walks over and gives her a hug, if she's oh okay with god. that. Oh my god, Gertie, like, melts into you. Yeah, I, th- like, I think Phoebe and Marcus are gonna go over and, and hug as well, and, like, so Declan yeah. and Harini are gonna come over and hug. Like, I don't, I mean, if there's still a room, I, I kind of... Kind of want to. Derry's gonna yeah. get a hug too. I'm gonna hug Baba Vahid. Mm-hmm. And Baba, um, Baba Vahid's gonna give you a cupcake. Just this is why. This is why. Gertie. Gertie gets a little overwhelmed and like doesn't full on cry, but like is like very much holding in sobs. Um, but uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, just think. Uh, she takes it. She takes the hug. Gertie. I think we can do it this time. I think so too. Do you have a plan? Does Gertie have a plan? I have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's a thing that we did. I don't know if we want to do it necessarily right now, but there's a thing we did in episode 12.5, Monkey Business, where we where we were like, what's our plan? And then we just role played. And every time a situation came up where we were like, I think we would have prepared for that, we like we say, like, that's, like, go back and, like, this is what we're going to do. And then, okay. like, that kind of thing. Do we want to do that? I or, like that. I'm okay with that. Rather yeah. than trying to plan now. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, are there, are there things you want to immediately do? Like, what's the first um, thing? Well, I want to... Um, Put out on the table. I guess out of character. Yeah. Um, all table. right, mission objective. Mission number one. And I'm going to take the poster frame that we put back off if it broke the first time, and I'm going to pull out my shirt. That was a picture? Just, yeah, you had, like, a frame photo. It looked really expensive. It was, like, from an old movie or something. Jesus and it was like, right, number here. one, kill P. Um, okay, yeah, I, <laughs> I think uh, Teddy has already said he wants Gertie to teleport the four of us to... Mm-hmm. Uh, somewhere near the somewhere near the, 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 the I, I want to. Where was um, um, uh, the Rat King? Um, Izawa. Izawa. Oh, yeah. Where Where did we leave Izawa? Um, he he <laughs> was. I, I love name. that though. Um, he was on top of um, on top of Old Smokey. He was. I'm so gonna be. Sad. I'm trying so hard, <laughs> hard to stay in a place. <laughs> I know. Uh, he He was. Uh, it's like I'm saying. He's this tall. Uh, he's on top of a building uh, that is overlooking um, the uh, the town hall. So he's like kind of across from where the. It's like. Him, gnome, town hall. Daeklin, can you text Azawa see if he knows how to use a sniper rifle? Or I guess a regular one? Uh, I don't, I could t- We don't I could text. have access to a sniper rifle right now. Well, I don't know I how mean, that would be. We got a rifle. Unless you one. have a rifle. I think we should get, to the, get on the roof, maybe, and you've got a slingshot and a, I mean, a bomb, basically. It's called an M80. M80, Dairy. okay. Cool. Do we, so, rope we'll number yeah. one. William, I I wanna I wanna uh, check. We knew we knew 
We knew where the Womp was coming from, right? In the middle of town, yep. Did Long we time. know it was coming from the gnome? We had, like... You thought so, and you yeah. hadn't directly determined. Did Was there a Womp while... Because the foxes were on top of the building at one point, right? Phoebe was. Phoebe. Well, we, we, we had a, a point of view character there. Because we were, we like well, did a scene and, on Declan the roof. And Harini, yeah, you when when they sent you video. Phoebe, and, sent us oh video. okay. Frankie and Phoebe got up there. Fra- yeah, okay. So Frankie yeah. was up there. Oh, that's what you were. Was there a womp while Frankie was up there? They wouldn't be able to pinpoint. Okay, nope. cool. No, there wasn't. All right, so we'll need a distraction. So at some point, we're gonna drive the car directly into the gnome. Cool. I, I think I think from there, maybe we want to leave to. Um, here, here's actually how I want to do this. So we can do sort of what I said, where we like we we role play and then we're like, oh wait, oh, like this is the plan, um, and then each of you uh, is going to take like a plan token. So just like give yourself like a new thing, okay. and at any point, like in the rest of this, if you want to chime in and say like, um, actually I prepared for this, okay. you got it. Okay. Cool. You can that, you can have a one moment where that cool. quite can happen. Already know where I'm going to use mine. Can I just tell you? <laughs> oh wait, so um, then that's just a plan. Don't, don't. Do we start it off with just one? You only have, have one. one. Oh, we only mm-hmm. have one. Okay. So you can chime um, in and be like, for small stuff, be like, oh, I think this was our plan. Like this is okay. what we wanted to do. Mm-hmm. But for like for like a big thing, like where something's going down, you're like, um, no, contingency token. That's what we'll call it. Okay. So you have contingency tokens. Cool. I'm almost positive I'm ripping this exactly from someone. I, I saw um, uh, during the stream of Many Eyes, there was uh, there was a thing that's, oh gosh, I wish I remembered who GM'd it, but I'm pretty sure Sam Regal and uh, um, Clint McElroy were on it. And it was like a heist thing, and they did similar to this. So check that out. I'm uh, Thank you for uh, coming up with that idea so I can co-opt it. Uh, um, cool. We want to move forward? Um, yes. What's the first I, I would, thing? I, well, I I would like to get there from here. I, I, I Unless we want to, like, jump into action. Because no, we're good. teleporting there. I would, I'd like to just, like, have a moment with us before. Like, we're getting into action. You I would moment. like to have a moment of us. Yes. If we can do that, you like, can do that right now. As we're either like before or after we teleport, you can be like getting like gearing up. Yeah, you're doing the gearing up session. Yeah, Teddy grabs his backpack. Um, <laughs> Derry grabs his saxophone. The big one. Mm-hmm. Okay. The big one with the wheel. Sorry, I can't say the big one in this world. The uh, large saxophone with you the have, big you wheel. You have the big one um, brand. <laughs> it does have a stick, a big one, the big one sticker on it. Um, but big has been that's like very, out and, and, and it, it's oh no no it's above it I wrote not so. Big. Whoa. Pretty punk of me. Yeah, and um, on a very large saxophone. That's mm-hmm. that's a layered. Mm-hmm. Um, At some point of the montage, one of the shots is aside from you know, cool. We got our slingshot. We got our bag of firecrackers. We got the M80 from the Talking Waste Man. Final shot, zipping up the monkey suit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, which monkey suit? The red one. The other one got fucked. The wait the the. With the original one you had or the other one? <laughs> the other one. The that, one that, that one was fucked. black, wasn't it? I kind of pictured it as red in I my I think I head. told you it was black. You s- no, no, no. You said, because I just rewatched this episode to come up with the double dairy hypothesis. Okay. You said, come up with a color and you tell me what it is. You come up with a color and tell me what it is. Oh, yeah. it's red. Thank you for remembering that. I was like, what? <laughs> cool. Rewatch the VODs, y'all. So Frank has got his red thing zipped up. Yeah. So you got a red monkey suit zipped up. It's kind of got a slight gradient, so it has like some flames, which have been uh, like modified in the interim. That's my contingency <laughs> token. Flames on monkey <laughs> suit. But, Spent. But, before before we contingency token back, please. Yeah, before we get started, uh, it's right there. Before we go any further, um, Teddy wants to walk over to Gertie. Gertie, do you think you can um, teleport to my house and grab a couple swords? Sure. I'd say as many as are close to ready. Uh, yes. Um, actually, I have an idea. We're going to take the rest of today's session to do, like, a, a little bottle thing. So, okay. like, you're going to be, like, talking and, and stuff because there are things that I want characters to say to you because you're about to go off to do a very dangerous thing. Fair. Um... We have about like 25 minutes left of the stream. Over the next week, I want you to start a group chat without me and plan what you're gonna do. 
Cool. Okay. And then and then you can still have the contingency contingency tokens for when I throw stuff at you you're not expecting. Okay. Cool. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah. Yes. Is it would it be possible for us to maybe even roll now to get like a little more information about what we're going yeah, into absolutely. if we have like let's specific questions for the rest yeah. of this episode let's okay, let's cool. get information and cool. have conversation we'll, we'll do we'll do some research and talk we'll, okay. we'll so actually, right now we'll actually plan before oh jumping into things and yeah. now when we fail it'll even be even more embarrassing um all right so let's take a quick tally of what exactly we can bring in we got one gun we got maybe some swords mm-hmm. um, i've got my saxophone we're going to drive um I think we should bring the car close and then teleport that last distance so they don't hear the car, but that way we can conserve energy on getting there. Well, yeah. Here's the thing. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like tangible weaponry isn't going to be what brings Pete down. Do you know what I mean? No, I do not. Well, here's... here's... <laughs> I, 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 mean, I think you're right. It's not going to hurt it, Pete, but Pete has like... Minions, but they're people. Here's here's the thing, Gertie. Here, well, here's my theory at least. Remember when Pete told you that he found your body? I think if we can find his and kill it, I think he might be trapped. So you think we need all the weapons we need to bring? I think we should at least bring some. I just don't want. Okay. Plus, she's the gonna... other bullies are going to be there, and we need to we need to pr- like pr- 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 protect ourselves against them. We do have laser eyes. We do have laser. We eyes. do have That's laser eyes. Point. But if we don't have laser eyes against Jordan as a werewolf, I would also prefer a sword. Are any of those swords made of silver? Can we just like put silver? Do you have actual silver and knives? Um. Can you do a grit roll for me, uh, Gertie? This isn't for both of you. I just want to. Uh, three. Okay. Um, cool. So, your eyes um, flash, and you all see this. Is it like CJ's? It is exactly okay. like CJ's. Your eyes flash, and you see Jordan and Big Rob being reburied. Jordan with like a wound in his head and Big Rob like completely like smashed uh, uh, from when you hit him with the car. And you're not seeing who is burying, you're not seeing much of anything, but you hear, why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? And you uh, flashback. Your eyes went like CJ. Yeah, are you okay? Uh, little Pete is burying Big Rob and Jordan back in the woods, but it's but it's not working. Okay, right, right. Is it right now? All right, it well, was daytime, so no. Uh, okay. no, no. So but it's, it's what gonna... does that mean if it's not working? Um, it was just Big Rob and Jordan. Have we seen them since they fought you at your house? And just so this is completely clear, that was not precognition. Oh. Uh, you do you uh, you tell me when you want to use that. Oh, so what, can do I know what that was? Does Gertie know what that was? Nope. Oh, well, but it hasn't happened yet. Um, or is it? No, that thing has already happened. Oh, that already you were, you were like seeing something that already happened. Oh, oh, oh. Um, it may have been like if there's a part of CJ and sad part of Pete, maybe that part, you know. Not to reference another magical book series where individuals have parts of other individuals which give them a sort of psychic connection, but maybe CJ's kind of. I'm okay with you the this. books. I just don't like Harry. <laughs> Was that not clear? <laughs> I, I knew. Thank you. Um, do you like Harry? Sorry. <laughs> I think you squandered his chosen one potential. Frankly, yeah, you could have leveraged among that. other things. Maybe this is just because I guess I'm a Slytherin, but like he could have totally used that to just like a mass of following. Frankie, we need to talk later. We need to talk later, though. Um, I'm we all also need to talk now. Of course, you are. Um, what did you say? I said I'm a Hufflepuff for Shay. I'm a Slytherin too. Okay, so we don't know what that was, but you saw them getting buried in the ground. Is it possible that? 
CJ didn't bring them back because they figured out that they weren't good people? Or CJ's gotten too weak. I um, mean, <laughs> could, could we roll brains to, de- to try to determine why the bullies aren't coming back? Um, how about I get a brains, one brains roll from all of you to see if I can help you piece some of this together. I got a four. Like from each of us? <laughs> do you want to take that? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Um, this dice, you know what? I'm going to take this back to the manufacturer. They didn't weight it enough. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I have a thir- it's too fair. I have a 13 dry, I don't think. Like, I mean... Uh, a 13 dry? Yeah, so <laughs> what like... What a horrible way to talk about it. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I could... I could, no, I I could, I could slap, slap some perspective on there, yeah. but like... Yeah, you want to wet that up for me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 13. Mm-hmm. Three. Three. Seven. One. Can I take my floor four? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's almost a little floor four. It rhymes. It's, it rhymes. Well, Therefore, it's mine. Well, here, hey, hey, you want to feel good, Frankie? Mark adversity. Uh, yes. You'll be the only one. Dang it. Because you're the only one who's not going to get any information. <laughs> he, he did get the whole intuitive stuff earlier. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have all also, the information I need. And also, I gave him another token to use intuitive later. So. Yeah, true. Um, so, lowest, three. All right. Ask me a question. Why aren't the bullies, the the two bullies that we just saw getting reburied coming back? Um, so, uh, let's see here. We'll we'll use this like kind of as like an intuitive thing, but um, I feel like there was a. I might just be out of nowhere here, but I feel like there was a conversation at one point where, um. Pete was trying to. This might have been in the uh, the Pete monologues, mm-hmm. um, but Pete had a really hard time getting any of it to work. Mm-hmm. Um, and it it only seemed to work either in areas you had been recently or areas near where you had been. Are you talking to I'm where talking Teddy had t- been? I'm talking Teddy. Okay. So that will that'll be like meta knowledge for players. Okay. Teddy, I think you can safely make the assumption that Big Rob and uh, Jordan Willows will not be making an appearance in the finale. Okay. Um, and if you make that realization and tell everyone, like, I really don't, I don't think they survived. Um, Gertie, you can either feel very stoked that you killed Rob with your car or, or like handle that some other way. Um, yeah, I, I don't think they're coming back. I think that was it for them. Seven. Um, from that vision, uh, does Gertie have a sense of CJ's? Uh, well-being of that scenario? Does that make sense? Um, like seeing... I think what you can grasp is that CJ was showing you that, but was not um, and like, it wasn't like they were they were saying like, look at this thing I did. I think they were just showing you to like have information. Like, and, and as far as their well-being, you can't really figure out how CJ is doing. Okay. Like, you can't, like, at least for now, you can tell you still have a connection with CJ. Um, Which is good. good. Which is good. Okay. Means that they're alive. When you say showing her, do you mean like they showed her intentionally? Like they were communicating with her? Um, I don't know. Okay. (laughs) That's not my question. I know, I know. Yeah. (laughs) Um, So that was was kind of like just like a a basic figuring out what you were doing. Do you want to ask one question that you don't have the knowledge about yet? Um, Yes, I do. Let me figure one out. Um, If if somebody has a question, like if you you want to help, we can posit this to the group. I I mean, one, one question I have is how... Can we protect ourselves against the womp as we get closer to it? Um, 
That's true. It seems like it's it would it's getting more powerful. Yeah. As we get closer. Wait, before uh, we you answer want... that, ask a different question. Well, All I would, right. Yeah. So so here we saw that I think we should. The reason why I still think we should have the cars because we use the horn to wake a bunch of people up. So if they're using when it, like if they're sending waves of in your words minions, um, we could just honk the horn that can help wake them up again. And then if we're like we could just be like blaring really loud music so we can't hear the thing so we can't get in our heads. That's possible. So, um. But well, that's one question. Yeah, I have. wait. I have. I, I think I. Do. Um. Uh. What is Pete's weakness? Okay. I um, got the answer right here. Well, sure. That's a fine answer. I did it light. It. I will. I will tell you this, Pete. Uh, Pete can be harmed by any physical or mental means. Like there is not like some kind of magic. Oh, I want. I don't. I have immunity to piercing and slashing damage. I. Um. He, he, uh, you, um, you're smart. You're skilled at puzzles. I think you can piece this together. Like, you, you all, given the, what you've been discussing, you have not seen Pete's physical form. The last time you saw Pete was on that hospital bed. You don't even know if Pete is still like that or like how Pete is because the last time you interacted with uh, him in the hospital, he was able to project himself and still like kind of use his powers. So you have no idea what physical state his physical body is in. Yeah, and I realize I totally wasted a question. Well, I mean, I guess that. No, that's no, like, that, we're, okay. we're getting that's information good. right um, now, yeah. yeah. And that, that solidifies what, like, we know for sure that we can harm him with like a gun. Right. Mm-hmm. You, get, you can harm him with a butter knife if you push hard enough. Oh, I have a really good idea, and I'm going to write the word mental means on the M80. <laughs> um, Emotional damage to Pete. Uh, um, <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna very slowly embroil him in depression. Um, oh, it's, boy. Yeah, it's bad. That's very uh, do I only, do I, Does Gertie only get two questions? Those. Yes. Okay. That was like kind of like a, a soft one and then a, a solid one. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I will give um, you two questions. Two questions. Because okay. you, you rolled the highest. So the... Um, was it 13? 13, yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, so that's 13 questions, actually. Um, <laughs> uh, I... So the first question is like... It's kind of like how do we like protect ourselves from slash fight off the womp other than what we know, which is like shocking people out of it, kind of. Yeah. Um, like, is there a way that we can fight off the womp in or after in the moment or after the fact um, that we don't know about yet? Um, block your senses. Okay. It, like somehow, like all of them? either like plug your ears and shut okay. your eyes. Um, okay. It's like it seems to be like connecting and like it's like having like a a, a mental tug, mm-hmm. but like hearing the womp, feeling the womp, and like like kind of like seeing the force of it is what um, is connecting to people the the most. Okay. Uh, so. So we just need to not have our senses open when the womp is coming, because that's yeah. how it gets us. Okay. Um, uh, I I don't have a question, but I have a, oh sorry. Well, no, 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 no. We, we have another question. Oh, but yeah, but we don't have to ask it right now. What were you gonna say? Well, I I think a a good question would be where is little where is the womp coming from, or where is Pete's? Physical where is body? Pete's body is the question I want to ask. Okay. You can't ask that question. That's what okay. I thought. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I can't imagine that anybody would know that. But that's a good um, question. So where is the womp coming from exactly then? <coughs> I won't answer that either. Yeah. Okay. I I what might be helpful is if we can figure out how to predict the womp's coming. Because we can block our ears permanently, but we don't want to walk around with our eyes closed. But if yeah. we know when it's coming, whether it's like a regular thing or we can like t- like tune ourselves to feel it before it actually comes, we can close our eyes when it's coming. Like would Gertie be able to know? I mean um... Do we want to spend a question on that? If y- you mean or, with like, oh. or I mean, do you want do you want to spend a question on that? It, can we figure it out without that? Um, if that's what Franny's getting at, because well, if we can, I can think of a different question. If we I, could, like, I would say like there's probably no way you can figure it out without 
it being precognition like every time. And then um, Gertie would have to, like Franny as a player would have to preemptively think mm-hmm. to use precognition mm. before I make a womp happen. Here, Here is something that we could consider. This is, I mean, I guess this is sort of, like we're still talking planning, right? Um, if a womp happens and is, uh, actually, if a womp happens at all, Teddy has chronokinesis and can go back in time 30 seconds and warn everyone that it's coming. So you would just have to be the one who doesn't get whomped every time? Yeah. Which would mean keeping Teddy's, like, senses shut. So, like, closing your eyes and, like, putting your plugs in or something? Mm-hmm. And then we'll give you a blindfold, and then we'll duct tape some garlic to your nose. We don't... I, I, That's actually kind of dope, and I wish idea. I didn't know you were going to do this. Um, um, this is why you plan in the in-between. <laughs> no more planning. Just get information. Okay. I still have a question. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you still have a question. Because I technically didn't ask that. I didn't want you to ask that question anyway. Could. Right. Um, can I ask... Where's no? I don't want that. Where's um, the beef? Um, <laughs> Rob and Jordan are the ones that are out, right? Yep. Okay. Um. And Dake was seen on top of the gnome. Correct. Last, right? Yep. Um. Okay. Um. Except we know he's going to the woods because he was yeah. there when he. I mean, found... can, are we are we assuming you filled them in on your side of like things that happened? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Then yeah, you would know that. Okay. Um Um Can I can I ask how we like stop the womp completely? Um Like if there's a way other than killing little Pete's body. You ask a different question. Okay. Um Um How about where are they expecting us to come from? Okay. All right, cool. So this will be the last thing I tell you. Um, we got we got very apocalypse world on this, yeah. like a, mm-hmm. or like a power, power, power by the apocalypse. apocalypse. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where are they expecting you to come from? Uh, okay. So they are um, probably expecting you to come from the woods. Mm-hmm. Um, more specifically, like directly from the chest and the and your campsite area um that's like where they are expecting you from for now if this like takes a while longer mm-hmm. they might just reposition that kind of thinking but for as, sure as far as you know so and i'd be able to like because what i want to use with that is like i want to know where like they're expecting us to come from into town center so like the the street closest to the woods, basically. I would, I would figure, right? Because yes, that's like because we're going to town center. I want to like if they're there, where would they be watching for us to come from? Which would be it's behind town hall. Behind town hall. Okay, yeah. cool. Behind town hall, because like when Teddy was running into the woods, he ran out from behind town hall and was cool. started started going off that way. It wasn't directly cool. straight back. It was like it was kind of like off to um a diagonal. Gertie, can you okay. use? You, you've got like mind stuff, right? Like telepathy. Mm-hmm. Can you tell how many people there are, or where they might be when you use that? Like getting into their minds. No, just like just sensing to, their minds. Just like sensing where they are, because if we do that, what? What? Here's what I'm thinking. If we can go, is this planning? Is this too much planning? I think this is planning. Should I not say it do you on stream? Want to, do you I want, want to, to say it on stream. I want you to not yes. say it. Because yeah. I want to surprise we William should, over and over again. What we again. should be thinking about is, like, we should use this time for things we need William to give us information for. Anything okay. that we can do on our own, we well, should do on our own. Well, here's what I'm thinking, though. If yeah. if we want to find the information of where is little Pete, so that when we do this thing that we can just go straight for him, then something that we could do is teleport to the town, to the city square, have Gertie use telepathy, and then, like, 
find little Pete if that's something okay. she can that's do. That's not possible. But okay. so good. Okay. And also gotcha. for the rest of the week, if you plan something, it sounds like can we even do that? Just send me a text. I don't mm -hmm. even need to. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good cool. powers work this way. Cool. Good powers work this way. Um, okay. okay. I'll ask this question though. Okay. Um, if you use a combination of telepathy and I believe it is emotokinesis. Mm -hmm. um, to invoke memories, thoughts, and feelings of little Pete while gazing into their mind with telepathy, could you, in that power combination, cause a person to show you the last time they saw little Pete or what they think, know, or feel about I, little Pete? I think we could try. <coughs> I think we should plan that. Yeah, I think. I, I, th I think. I think yeah, that, that's, that is I, I, I yet another stop thing. In front of William. So, I really yeah, want to stop so, saying in front of William. So, so here's here's, yeah. here's what I'm butting up against is like what what are what else can we do in this episode? Yeah. You know what? Let me well, give you the answer. Well, well, we can we're do still, it. We're still in. Well, hold on. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, still, like I said, I want the NPCs. We still have to okay. talk about. Do you want to? We were just in the. So you're all you're all sitting here like planning mm -hmm. and uh, in in the garage and like everyone's staying in the garage because they don't want to go out. Or anything, um, and Baba Vahid comes over, uh, and mm -hmm. like talking directly to you, Derry. Mm -hmm. Um, are your parents and the twins okay? I, I don't know. Yeah, they they did get womped, but Womp. you know the like pulse. Oh, I've been kind of feeling that. They, have you lost any time today? No. Oh. Yeah, it, uh, the, the womp takes over people's minds. Hmm. Um, okay. They did get taken over. I don't know if they're okay. Um, Derry? Mm-hmm? Are you going into town to save them? Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. Be safe. I will. Um... We have magic powers. Well, it's not like we're so do they. Senseless. We outnumber them now, though. It's two against five. We have a dog. Oh yeah. yes, very cute. You've met BB, right? Have you met? Have I, you met met BB? I think so. Okay. Um. Well, I love you. I love you too. And I hope you do not die. Me too. I I I don't think that's. A way this can end. Okay. And if yeah. if Derry dies, I'll just go back in time and save his life. Right. Hmm. How uh, how reliable is that? It's like extremely reliable. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then blah blah blah. He's gonna pull out a mini cupcake and give it to you, Derry, and then yeah. and then hug you. Thank you. Um. And and I hug. And um, the icing is dairy free. Oh, good! I was about to give it to you. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> free for dairy. dairy. Free for dairy me. What? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, Phoebe and Marcus come over, and they're like, "All right, so it seems like you're you been doing a lot of planning. You're dead set on doing this by yourselves. Is that true?" I think it's the only way we can. Marcus, we saw you. You died. You both did. I don't know how many other people did. All right. Okay. Um, I I don't know how everyone else feels, but I I feel like in case something goes wrong, we can't take that risk. You all know you're like kids, right? I'm a what? You're technically only Frankie's a kid, I'm, and I'm kind of getting tired of that that, 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 that sort of attitude. No, it's not an attitude of, like, we're better equipped to do it. It has never been, like, Phoebe and myself, and Phoebe, like, nods along, we have never not trusted you to handle this. We, we know you're, you're as capable, if not more capable, in most situations to handle this. You have more information. You're scrappy as shit. And you got it. You got each other. The only problem ever has been that, I mean, if I try to do something and I die, then I don't lose my kids. But if you try to do something and you die, you know, and I know it would be hard for you to lose me, but um, it's very difficult 
to look at your kids and just send them off, you know, for these people who have been killing a whole bunch of other people and knowing that you're not the best one for it. So I just want to say, um, I trust y'all. I do. You're going to do great. And you're going to come back. And when you come back, I'm going to, we're going to finish building that ramp, Frankie. We're going to get you to jump the gorge. I'm going to set up a barbecue for the moment it's going to happen. And you two are going to be playing your little song. And it's going to be wonderful. And I might pull out that guitar, step up on stage with you. And Gertie, um, thanks for saving everybody. Thanks for saving me up on that tree. I, um, I don't know. I didn't think I, I didn't think we were gonna make it. So, um, of course, you got it handled. You can teleport into trees. You can teleport us into a car. I think you're all gonna be fine. All right. Mm -hmm. And um, and he's gonna just grab Frankie and Gertie, especially, and then like go over to like pull you both mm -hmm. in. And then Phoebe like comes forward and like gets on the other side of Frankie and Gertie, puts her arms around them and starts like um, running her fingers through Gertie and uh, Gertie's hair and then like going over and and uh, uh, feeling Frankie's arm. <laughs> and she, she just goes, hi, um, I don't know if this will give you any kind of like enchantive or anything. But um, I think we should have macaroni in the morning for breakfast. So, and I'm gonna cut up little wieners and put it in there. And I know that's your favorite. So. It's inevitable. <laughs> I I I will not stop him from punching you. I deserve it. Okay, I love you both. Um. Oh, Marcus had something he wanted to say to you, Frankie, really quick. And, like, uh, Marcus in the hug, like, still muffled a little bit, goes, like, you, you got, like, five minutes so I can teach you how to shoot a gun. Frankie, like, pushes <laughs> Gertie away. <laughs> um, I, yeah. I, I want to have a scene with Gertie. Absolutely. I also do, which could be all of us together, but yeah. if you need um, to have a... How no, do you feel about yeah. Declan and Harini? I... I want to have a final, like, I want the last moment yeah. to just be the four of us. I about agree. To go, so, so then really quick, like, after your parents walk away, uh, Marcus will <coughs> take you off to, like, be shooting a gun or whatever, mm -hmm. like, teaching you how. Um, uh, Declan and Harini both, like, walk up to Gertie. Oh, bad. Wow. So pretty cold out tonight. Things are going to snow soon. Uh, heard about that on the weather before. Everything went down, right? And then uh, Harini's like, Declan, um, Gertie, Declan and I have been talking, and um, we we have no idea how this works, and neither neither of us have ever been on a date before, and we want to we want to do the three of us. We don't we don't know we don't know how it works we don't we don't get it, but I mean like I like you a lot, and Declan likes you a lot, and I like Declan. He, he's so nice, and I I couldn't think of. You're so wonderful. Gertie, and you're so powerful, and even even when you don't know if things are going to work out, and you still just go for them, and you have so much hope, and I just, I, I admire that so much, and I, why would I ever want to deprive another person who has feelings for you of, of, of that? So, if, if it's alright with you, Declan and myself, and Declan and uh, is like, um, yeah, that's that's me. That's both of us. Declan and Harini. Um, and uh, Harini begins again. And it's like, yes, Declan and myself would like to um, take you mini golfing. It's very fun. Have you ever done it? No. Okay. Well, we're doing it tomorrow, so you better fucking live. All right? Okay. Okay. I've already made reservations for three, so, and we're not taking anyone else, okay? Okay. Okay. 
You have my number. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over to this corner of the garage now. How okay. Did she, how did she make the reservation? Because everybody except the mini golf person. Was there. The mini golf person didn't get whopped. Yep. Yeah. And, well, they're, and they're out, just like, not in town. They're just like it's where is everybody? <laughs> Um, oh, oh gosh! Yeah. So Jared has great work ethic. Um. So Harini like turns, turns, and like just walks away. And Declan does like look at you for just like a moment longer, and is like, I, I feel like I'm, I, f- I feel like you're all friends of mine now, and that's very cool. Um. And of it would, course it would, you are. I know. Uh, him in for a hug. Uh, and then Harry turns back around and hugs, <laughs> hugs you both as well. And then Harry's like, "Okay, sorry," uh, and then like walks away. Um, okay, I lo- uh, um, I love all of you. Uh, you're super not gonna die because like uh, then who would I play D and D with? You know, uh, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I love you. Bye bye. Bye. We love well, you too, I'll also, one. I'll also be. We're we're coming back. Okay. You're my best friends. You're our best friend. I need to go now. I really do love you. Wait, Declan. Yeah? You do fit in with us. You're the perfect puzzle piece. You're so good at puzzles. Uh, And then, um, and he walks away. Cool. Um, It's the four of you alone now. Nobody tell him we're going to (laughs) die. Um, I, okay, sorry. No, it is going to be so sad when we do. I, uh, but, okay, before we, all four of us, get together, can I just have a scene yes, with Yes, absolutely. Gertie? Let's Real all quick. have okay. scenes with Gertie. <laughs> okay. Everyone yeah. wants a scene. Well, yeah, yeah. And then, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need to I know, I know, I know. Video, yeah. Gertie, in the... You can talk to CJ, kind of, right? Or somehow they get a sense from you, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I don't really know how it works just yet. We we could use um all of the backup we could get, right? Andolin is um I mean Maybe CJ can give her something. Because, like, what I'm thinking is, like, the, the shadow place is completely unprotected. And if the bullies are moving through that, then, I mean, I, I, I just, I don't know how we, how we... Would, would you ask them to try? Of course. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. I didn't see any other way progressing without her. Or at least trying. Yeah. Okay. I I think during that time, uh, Derry was, was, was with Frankie, going through their backpacks, making sure they have everything, and Derry was taking five bags of Cheez-Its for later as payment for the things that uh, Frankie had broken. Um, <sighs> So I've taken five of your cheeses. I have them in my inventory now. <laughs> um, I imagine we're like just like outside of the garage now, just like finishing packing up. Yeah. All right. Um, so Derry, rule number one: this is a gun. Mm-hmm. You remembered that. That's a gun. Glad your dad teaches you safety. Um. I, I just I, we have a good plan. So I just want to say like one more thing to everybody. I um, when. When you left us, Gertie, like back at the the camp, I I realized the reason it upset me is because what what the four of us have together and like what we might be starting to have with some of the people in there is we don't have to do anything hard alone ever. And right now everything we're doing is going to be hard. So I don't think that we should ever be alone. Um, We're going to start this not alone. Um, and we're gonna beat up some noobs together, and very much not alone. Yeah. And I want to actually blow up Little Pete. Yeah. yeah. I think we all do really bad. You know, 
I feel like we really have something here. And next time on Hijinx <laughs> and Handlebars, uh, we will see what that plan is. <laughs> um, all right. Well, thank you, everyone, for watching another episode. Uh, I, I love it so much. I, I can't wait to see if anyone has said anything. That'll be great. Uh, uh, if you are watching these on the VODs, please leave, uh, leave comments. Please. I read them. Um, all right. <laughs> Okay. Oh, shall we, <laughs> um, as they say in America, end? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. So uh, yeah, this would be great. We'll see the comments uh, and everything. Um, if this is the first episode you've watched and you're very enticed and intrigued, we have all of the episodes on the Q Times main YouTube channel in a playlist called Hijinks and Handlebars. You can find the playlist again just by typing bit.ly forward slash handle stream. Uh, with a capital H and a capital S. Um, you can follow our Instagram and our Twitter. That's at HandleStream uh, for both of those where we post some other stuff um, sometimes. Um, but uh, uh, lastly here, we're I think the next episode is going to be the last episode of the arc. If not, I think so. I think so. We can't do more than two, I imagine. I think you so. You don't fucking say that because it took oh, us man. like eight episodes well, to get to Halloween. Yeah, I'm just Join like... us next time for the Hijinks and Hannah Bars episode uh, November 2nd. <laughs> um, so uh, before we get there, if you're not caught up and you have time, catch up. Uh, that's, that is likely going to be the end of a big moment for the stream. Um, because uh, we've been dealing with these bullies forever. So I don't know what's going to happen exactly, and we'll find that out. But it would be awesome if people were here, like, experiencing it live with us. Uh, if you can only watch the VODs, like, you can't catch it live, that's awesome, too. I, like, really appreciate people going to the YouTube channel and checking that stuff out. Um, please share this show with uh, people that mm -hmm. you think would enjoy just, it. Just pick one friend. Yeah, just pick one friend and then go, oh, wait, no, I should pick more friends. And just, pick just, a lot of friends. Just pick one friend, and then if that person doesn't like it, show it to someone else. And if that person doesn't like it, show it to someone else. And just keep going. And down then your... um, don't be friends with those friends anymore. Yeah, don't be friends. <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah, stop being friends. Yeah, uh, I, would, I, I really love this show. I love what um, they're all doing and, and everything, and it makes it very easy for me to play off of it. It might seem like I'm like orchestrating a lot of this, but I'm actually not. Uh, um, uh, you, when we wrap up this entire arc, I can't wait to do a cast chat where I explain <laughs> all of the things that like, that I didn't do and you did and people probably didn't realize. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll be, that'll be great. But uh, it's, a, it's really cool and I want more people to see it. And if you like the show, I hope, I hope you feel the same way. Yeah. So let's uh, end this. Um, last week, I do want to say, we did Monster of the Week on last Wednesday. We finished up the second arc of that. Sam jams at, it's fucking incredible. It's one of, I think, I think it's almost like a perfect example of what Monster of the Week can do. Sam is like just got like that opening scene of like Supernatural where like the monster does something and like none of the main characters are there and then like the rest of the episode is them figuring it out. It's so good. Jonas and I are both in it. I play one of my favorite characters. Uh, it's, it's, I also play one of their favorite characters. Yeah, it's true. I really love it. And our, our friend Sam uh, Dar is on it, and she's amazing. And uh, we've done a full two arcs now, so catch that. Catch up on it. It's so good. It's being slept on seriously. Also, when we say full arcs, that those two full arcs are five episodes. They're yeah. shorter than our arcs. So yeah. Together, yes. like both of them together, together is only five episodes. Yeah. And we are gearing up to do a third arc uh, that... Sam can talk more about when it gets to him. Um, and then tomorrow night, I'm doing a, a kind of a, a, a new game that I made called Disaster um, that is about roll, having a bunch of people show up with a, with a shitload of dice and rolling all of them, all of them. And uh, on that, we have Jenny Powell and uh, Spencer Stark and Jonas will be joining us for that. I'll be GMing, and also we have Chard Winters on for that one as well. So it's going to be a one-off. That's not going to be a continuous thing, but literally it, the system is made to kind of simulate um, being in a disaster. So, like, 
one thing happens and it ramps up and it's like horrible. So it it's should be a lot of fun. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We play tested it. It was ridiculous. Um, yeah. So aside from that, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the Twitch channel. Uh, follow, like, subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I've been William White, the GM for Hijinks and Handlebars. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at k William White. Uh, and I have been Jonas Newhouse playing Derry Nazari. I am on Twitter at Jonas Newhouse. And right now, what I'd really like for you to tweet at me about is the freaking Zelda sequel that was uh, announced today. Um, because I will be vibrating uh, just sort of like uh, internally on uh, the, 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 the idea of said game for the next couple of years. And I would, could use an outlet to, you know... Uh, Vibrate externally? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have been <laughs> Sam Richardson playing Teddy Tedward Tank Thompson, who's just just a good just a good kid. He's gone full circle. He was kind of a bad kid for a minute there. He's kind of gone full circle back to a good kid. Um, Managed to clean that circle without really, punching it's any Teddy journey. Rolls. It's all great. Uh, I also do a show as as William already set up uh, called Monster of the Week. Um, we have two. Uh, arcs, as they've already said, uh, one is set in a sort of like creepy haunted hotel, and the other one is set in a sort of like mysterious small town where uh, people keep disappearing. Uh, so if that sounds like your kind of vibe, if you like stuff like Supernatural or X Files or Riverdale, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you like shows, um, you, you if you should, like shows, if you like shows, uh, come come check those episodes out on the Q Times main YouTube channel. They're all in a playlist called uh, Monster of the Week, and I've created a bit.ly. Um, which is bit.ly forward slash uh, fight the monsters, capital F, capital T, capital M. Oh. Uh, so mm. bit.ly forward slash fight the monsters. Uh, so come check that out. I I really want more people to see it. I'm so excited. Uh, uh, William and Jonas are both fantastic on it, and, and Sammy, who's not on this show but should be on more shows, is, is also just incredible. Um, we're doing five arcs total, so if you like sort of like limited run things um this is this is up that alley um and each arc is only three episodes so it's going to be probably 14 or 15 episodes total um i am reading i'm like meticulously checking all of the youtube comments sections every day so please leave something for me to read or uh tweet at me on twitter at laggardson l-a-g-g-a-r-d-s-o-n sorry no that was great <laughs> um i I'm pretty sure I will always be Franny, um, and uh, I have been playing Gertie Fox, and you can find me on Instagram at J-U-S-T underscore F-R-A-N-N-I-E. Yeah, I am Spencer LaBelle. I have been playing Frank Word Fox. Um, <laughs> can't take Frank Word. I'm already Ted Word. Shut up, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, you can find me on Instagram at Splubble, S P L U B B L E, like bubble with a spluh. Um, you can also, if we didn't say it, um, find us on Twitter and Instagram at Handlestream, um, which is H A N D L E S T R E A M, like handle, but with a stream at the end. Um, we also have a bit.ly with slash H A N D L E S T R E A M. <laughs> done? Are we good? It's inevitable! Okay, bye. Bye. We'll see you, you know next week. Come back next week. Right? Like, Come buzzing. Back. Like, 